بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم hello everyone and welcome to this is football welcome to another edition of Hossam this time it's not uh, uh, I respectfully I've changed it up today today it's no longer ex Tom Little today it's versus Tom Little because I've had enough of that guy I've had enough of this guy and I woke up in a fighting mood anyway and I'm ready to fight I'm ready to take on this this fraud right here right now because I've had enough of him so it's no longer a thing where it's Hussam X no it ain't no X it's Hussam versus that's that's what it is today and the fraud is late and the fraud is late and you know why the fraud is late he's just piling up excuses as to why the loss against Man United is okay and now suddenly he's just gonna say all of the stuff that I said you know and then pretend he just you know and then pretend you know that he's been saying this I, I promise all of you in the chat I promise all of you in the chat watch this space Watch this video today. Tom Little is going to say everything Hussam has been saying for the last three, four months. Literally everything he's been, uh, I've been saying for the last three, four months, Tom Little is going to start saying now and pretending, this is my problem, pretending that he's been saying all this stuff. He's going to go like, yeah, it's okay that we got knocked out the FA Cup because we have less games. We have less fixtures. That's what he's going to say. Okay, but when I told you this three months ago, you were leaning back like Fat Joe, lean back. Lean back. That's what you were doing. So, you know, um, today the truth will get exposed. I even have comments in the chat from Selection. From Selection, who is my ultimate enemy and Tom's ultimate bestie, saying I agree with Hussam now. Khalas. But we know well, we know how this goes. You know, uh, we know how this goes. Yes, you're right, Saka's big sis. There is no option to like because Tom is right. Because there, Tom isn't right. So you have two options on your poll. We're 300 likes target, liking because Hussam is right and liking because Tom is wrong. There's no other option, you know. So make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing right now to This Is Football. Hit that like button and subscribe. Guys, today is going to be a war episode. I've already warned this guy. Me and him going to fight. So hit the like button because I don't want to keep stopping our argument to say like the video, like the video, like the video. And then Tom starts leaning back, getting more upset. So let's get to 100 likes ASAP. 130 people in here, 100 likes. I want you guys to hit that share button as well. Make sure you guys are sharing the video everywhere right now as well. So, yes. Um, so, the fraud's here. Get me. Biggest fraud in the north uh, west of, of England. You get me. <laughs> I heard him saying um, that he said, um, I was surprised by Google Union. Um, he's an incredible, incredible boy. I was on um, mute then. Uh, it's a good thing, and I was just. Uh, you're trying to play a video. I'm talking over it. I'm talking over it, and the video's not even playing for me. You're about to say all that. You're about to sing over it as well. Jagan, mate. I love you. Well, it's time to go. Gotta mix these packs and potions. No peace till I put a sim in a burner. I'm on a block like Werner. Backfield Laker, fully paid bro. I'm an earner. I fight past, I'm a head top turner. Them elders are washed like Sammy Kadira. And they should start calling me uncle because when I speak on these beats, they get murdered. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Hello, Tom. How are you doing, brother? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Uh, you, you've come here suggesting that there's going to be a war, but I, I, I really don't see what there'd be much arguing about. Yeah, you're just going to say I feel like you're just, right. I, 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 I feel like you're a little bit put off by the fact that we haven't had many arguments for the past three streams you've been on, so we need to try and balance it back out again. No, no, no. I'm not put off by the fact that we have no arguments, because when we have no arguments, you're agreeing with me, which shows that you're right, you get me, but... You know, uh, it's just, I don't know. Listen, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Because there's a lot to unpack from the crap that we watched. Also, uh, also, I, I do need to have a... Before we get to rank, big up to Ryan for the Super Chat, by the way, I do need to get to Valve on that video. This You've had that video done for about... It's got to be close to a month now. It's got to be close to a month. And you've still not removed the little cap cut ending. Just, why not just resend the video and cut the ending off so I don't have to see cap cut? I don't know why. That's a good. That's actually a good, a good point. To be fair, well, you have one. Now her Sam looks like he's sponsored by Capcut when they ain't paying him. What's he supposed to they do? Aren't he's me, not free advertising. They aren't paying me. There's no free advertising. Everything has a price. Sim likes everything got a price. I wanna have to sleep at night. <laughs> Oh my lord. Anyway, make sure you guys are running up the likes, subscribing, share the video everywhere, all that good stuff. Look who's here. 
the guy that I called out, the mm-hmm. guy that I called out on back again is here to drop the 499. Where was the 499 on back again? Hussam, you are right, huh? You big fraud. Me and you one day, we're going to pull up and exchange hands. Big up. You both deserve to get cooked, particularly Hussam. By the way, Hussam, we did not do bigger fish to fry in 1920 when we won the title. Tom knows. In 1920, our best form in the league was from August to February, where we were on for a treble, won the Club World Cup, and had pretty much sealed the title. This is where your shameless self gets slapped in the face. Imagine considering a two-game Club World Cup the equal to a Europa League. And imagine considering one Super Cup game, the equivalent of the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup run we just did. How low can you sink, Ray Ray, when you're comparing the Club World Cup where we went to Qatar, played two games and came back? All we done was play two games and come back. That's it. We played a semi-final and we played a final. You're calling, you're comparing that to the Europa League. And also... In 1920, um, our best form was from August till February. It has nothing to do with, with us being on for a treble. We just won every game, brother. <laughs> we just won every game and every competition in 1920. We had killers. You cannot compare it to this squad. We actually started, I swear, we won out of the first 29 games, we won 28. And we only drew um, one versus Man United. Yeah, I, I remember it because we won. So, counting That's back in the season the before. Counting the back end of the season before, we had 17 wins in a row, drew against United, then won 18 in a row. Yeah, exactly. So 18, no, no, if we, I think it was 10 games from the year before, seven games from the year before, I think it was. Point is, I think we had in about 28 games or 29 games, 27, 28 wins. That's not normal. You cannot call that form. <laughs> it was 26, 27 games played, 26 ga- uh, games won. Wins. Out of 100, yeah, yeah. One draw, all trapper. Yeah, yeah, 100, 103 points out of, a, out of a possible 105. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So you cannot call that form. You fraud. You're such a fraud. Lucho plays great. Doesn't do anything wrong and gets slandered. Salah plays awful, covered up with a tap and is exempt from criticism. Hmm. First of all, I'll explain this from my perspective, once and for all. The criticism that the rest of the guys get will never, ever be equal to the criticism of Salah, Van Dijk, Trent, and Allison. Those four players are four world-class players who have been there, done that, won us Premier League title that you spoke about, won us a Champions League, won us every competition there is to win. Obviously, by definition, by human nature, I cannot keep the same energy towards Luis Diaz that I do Mo Salah, who's won me stuff and who's delivered for the last seven years. That's ludicrous. Second of all, if Luis Diaz learned how to do tap-ins, we'd be top of the league right now, four points ahead of Man City. So maybe doing tap-ins is actually Luis Diaz's problem. And I never blamed for Luis Diaz. I never scapegoated him. I criticized Cody Gakpo the most. That's why he's on the thumbnail, because I, as soon as me and Tom are done fighting, we're going to do Cody Gakpo investigation. He's so we're going to fight it. So, so we're going to fight again then? Yeah, because you, what, you think he doesn't deserve criticism. You're going to be edgy, right? I mean, I I think he's I think he's the best player to go on the left wing alongside Nunes, if you have Nunes up front. Imagine, imagine chat. You see why there is no option. Saka's big sis. You see why there is no option. Hussam's right. You see, you see why there is no option. Tom is right. There is no need for that option. He, after watching Gakpo, slower than my nuts on the counter attack, now wants to play do, him left do, wing. Do you think? Do, do you think Gakpo was the reason that counter attack didn't come off? Oh, hold this. on, no. we are going to go off topic. Do you think Gakpo is the reason why that counter attack died? The, the, the one we're on about with the reason why the... our whole attack died. Never mind the counter attack. Did not ask that. Uh, yes, that the answer is yes. It's all inclusive. Yes. So, so then, so then you're wrong. You just play. You just blatantly wrong. You're blatantly wrong. You are oh, so wrong. It's unbelievable. Wrong. Oh. So, who should he have passed him? Who should he have passed him? Diaz has run behind Dallo, so he now can't be passed to. Nunes has run behind fucking Maguire, so now he can't be passed to. Connor Bradley stops running, so the only possible passing option is Elliot. It's not like the situation where Salah had against Arsenal, where he had literally three people making the correct run, and he passed it to the right person and he missed. 
he had to pass to Elliot or no one because everyone else had made stupid runs and idiotic he have runs. To Nunez. That's who he should have passed it to from early. But Nunez is behind Here he goes. Maguire. Here he goes leading back. Should have passed it to Nunez from early because he's a lot quicker than Maguire. It's not that difficult. Early but, pass to Nunez. Nunez. You could quite clearly see Nunez was injured. You could quite clearly see Nunez was you know injured. How he was. So why, 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 do you change, why do you change on that point? Why, why do you change the goal? So, so you think he... So, so let, let me go pull up the screenshot. Let me go pull up the he could have passed it to Nunez from early. I, because Nunez was running... From early. And then, the and then what? And then Nunez... Yeah, yeah. And then, Nunez and then what to do? And then, and then what to do? Nunez is uh, no, 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 we can't go. It, 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 it goes to Nunez from early on. So then Nunez is put in a one on one situation out wide. Then what? You want to pass it back to Gakpo when we're just in the wide. exact same position. The score. He and by the way, when wide. he was out wide, he shot. He shot. Oh, yeah, he and he scored, did he? No. No, he didn't. But that that was nowhere goal. near the same. That was nowhere near the same position that he was in. Nowhere near. It's similar, but on the other side. Big Nunez's shot after. for the second goal was in line with the six-yard box. He was not outside the box. Already? He was in line with the six-yard box. You aren't box. supposed to be angry here? already. You aren't supposed to be angry already. Wait, wait till you get angry. Wait a little bit first. Um, <clears throat> super sticker from Sappy Sap. I appreciate you, my brother. I have no idea what this says, but big up to you because it doesn't show us on stream yet. Hussam is a fraud. LFC must win the title. Most of your players are back. Easy running. An easy Europa. Hussam won't back his team. Fraud. Tom is clear, to be honest. Obviously, someone has forgot to have his Vegemite sandwich today. Because you no know way you're backing Tom to this extent. This is not a jinx. You know, because Tom backing the team, he actually doesn't believe that we're going to win the league deep down. But I know. I know he doesn't believe it. He wants it to happen, but he doesn't believe I, it. I've, I, I've... Do I've you been, actually believe I've, it? Have you not watched the pa I've said because Arsenal and City play each other, I think we're going to win the league. Okay, so you fully believe we're going to win the league? Yes, because Arsenal are going to drop points. Hmm. Glad, glad you said that. We can have you on record. I hope you're right and I'm wrong for once in your life because obviously you've been wrong like 99 times. You know, I hope this one time. By, by, by the way, people, I I I hope Sam actually shows the screen because I've managed to pull up the screenshot from from my own way. I will, I will. But can you actually just bear with me so I can be done with the super chat so we can actually just have a conversation? See, see how I'm trying to direct the show. Let me cook, Tom. Big up to you, Felipe. Um, big up to Smoke says Salam alaikum, alaikum salam, Habibi. Big up to Param who says, uh, my guy Hussam, who's Tom put up a best XI for the rest of the season, which included Gakpo. How is this brother unhinged? That's what I'm telling you. Did, Tom yeah. needs help. Tom needs help. It did, yeah. I'm and here, and I can man. explain why. I will happily explain why. Tell, tell him why. Tell him why. Because when you look at the chances that Nunes needs, Diaz doesn't give them to him. Fucking hell, Diaz doesn't create chances for anyone. Jossa is a goal scorer. So you're better off with him and Diaz together because Jossa doesn't need many chances and Diaz doesn't create many chances. So you want someone who can create chances, and Gakpo, when he's out wide, creates chances. He puts the ball in the box from crosses, stuff that we don't really do when we play Nunes, that he's actually quite good at. Nunes is actually quite good in the air, and yet we barely cross it to him. Stuff like that. Gakpo does that sort of stuff. He will create situations like he did last season. Just put him in a wide area, and you'll watch him create the chances that Nunes needs. You can't. No one can sit there and tell me right now that... Luis Diaz creates better chances for Nunes than Gakpo does. I think we're comparing a stinky shit to a stinkier shit. Big up to you, Param. Big up to, to Ed who says, by the way, I agree with you. Gakpo is definitely not another best XI with everyone fit. Big up to Ed who says, Ryan, go back to hide and we liked it better that way. Big up Hossam and the donor Tom. You're never going to let this go, Ed. You're actually never going to let this go. But at least it's a good, it's a good reputation, you know. It's a rep for some good stuff, you know. It's not not a bad rep, you know. So that's that's what I'll say. Big up to you, Ed. Big up to Philippe says, Sam, I'm sure you still want to go for the title, but you don't think you'll win. Yep, I don't think you'll win. Ryan is a massive fraud. Agreed. Let me save Salah from your ungrateful fans. That's what I'm saying. 
Imagine playing blaming Mo Salah for that game, bro. Like it's just so weird. It's so weird. I actually never scapegoated, by the way. I actually blamed all three forwards. I never said just Gakpo. I blamed everyone. You know, I blamed Endo as well. I thought he was crap in that game. Soboslai was crap. So it wasn't just a Gakpo thing for me or just Endo. a Diaz thing. Yeah, Endo was crap. Soboslai. Yes. What's I, the I, issue? I, I, no, I wouldn't say some. By the way, we conceded four goals to Manchester United, had absolutely zero control in that game, and we had and they literally had 23 shots. So if you're going to tell me anyone played well, then you're waffling. I'm not saying anyone played well, but I wouldn't say they played terribly because the game, they no, did not create chances. Terrible. No, 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 but Hassan, the point is they didn't create chances through the middle. Do you want to know had a poor game? Gomez. Gomez was shit. Gomez yes. stunk. Gomez 100%. couldn't handle. Gomez couldn't handle inverted runs from Adam Wambasaka. What are we doing here? Robertson stunk the place out. Diaz, Mbappe. horrendous. Nunes, Notice how when horrendous. Simicast came on, he was better. Can we have that honest conversation? Oh, Once what, a, what a corner from Simicast, by the way. What a corner from Simicast. That was a great, great corner. corner. Virgil almost scored from that. It was Virgil close. almost scored from it. Come on. Robertson Bra hit the first I also man think, every I also single think, corner. Yeah, I, and you're acting like I said Robertson's corners are good. We don't have good corner takers. I've always Who's said this. Who's the ball, Tom? Can you be honest? No shot. Simicast, Simicast, okay. but it's not hard. That's not hard to beat. I'm, Robertson's, I'm, I'm be saying... Ro Robertson's better at passing than crossing. That's why you don't see him whip the ball. Then he has to go to the byline and cut it back. It's a pass, not a cross. I would generally Connor Bradley, rather Connor, Connor Bradley, when he came on, was crap. Bobby Clark struggled. Yeah, you were a crap, Tom. S S S Simicast wasn't great when he came on. All these yeah. players in wide areas were crap. Hence why they kept attacking us from the wide areas. Who called all this to happen? Not you. I told you young players come with inconsistencies when you were sucking off the Liverpool Academy two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, even... yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So Sorry. that's why the starters who were really bad was the 26-year-old Joe Gomez and the 29-year-old Robertson. Yeah, but you know, I don't even like Robertson to begin with this season. No, no, no but, you, but you can't pin it on the youngsters. My only problem when is why can't you when the performers with the experience Robertson's a great, uh, Robertson's a great servant for Liverpool, all that good stuff. But in the next two months, let's start Simicast because he's just objectively better. I don't want to start Simicast. I want to start Gomez. But you just said Gomez was crap. He was crap, but he's a better option at left back. The closest form we get to our Liverpool style of football where we were cooking teams is Trent right back and Simicast left back. No, it Just isn't. all out offence. No, it isn't because that's no balance. Your best bet is Trent and Gomez. Trent inverts, Gomez forms a back three. And then you have Trent, Endo, McAllister pushing further forward and Soboslai. As a I wouldn't mind field. that. That's, I wouldn't your mind that. that's your best bet. I wouldn't mind that. I and mind yes, Robertson. I agree. I agree, Hassan. I would potentially move on Robertson in the summer. I love Robertson. But if you can get me an Ait Nori for the same price that you can sell Robertson for, you do it. If you can get me a Milos Kerkes for cheaper, you do it. Because he's not getting any younger. We've, we've clearly, is leaving. We, we've is clearly leaving sort of when, went into when, the well. We'll change the left-back situation. Because I don't think an Ait Nori would have worked under a Jurgen Klopp. He's like too technical and stuff. I think Ait Nori works better under, a, under different managers with different styles. Like if we're if we're looking at Pep and Klopp right now, and we're saying who does Ait Nuri suit more? He suits more a, a Pep system. Let, let, let's Klopp. just bear in mind, Jurgen Klopp has had probably the most technical fullback in the Premier League in the past. Trent, 10 Trent, years. yes, Trent. I know, but that's not the point. But he can't I'm... coach technical fullbacks. No, 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 no. That's not the point. I'm saying Ait Nuri is technical, as in he's a he's like the fullback who is a strong dribbler type. Like he's good. I, 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 I Nori is Robertson, but better on the ball. Oh my God! He just said I Nori is Robertson. Do you watch football from your asshole, Tom? I no, Nori is a I, very good dribbler. Yes, that. Did, did you just ignore the last part I said? He's like Robertson, but better on the ball. No, you said better passer. No, no, I didn't. I said he's better on the ball. I, I will be our review this right now. He's better on the ball than him. Like he's I, 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 I know he is Robertson, but better on the ball. Oh, my God. Don't ever gaslight me. Don't ever gaslight me. You are a class A liar. 
no, 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 keep playing, 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 keep playing the clip, keep playing the clip, because you know you're the one gaslighting. I said best I'm on the not, ball. You're, you're the one gaslighting. Play the clip. Oh my god, he just said I ignore his Robertson. Do you watch football from your asshole, Tom? Keep going. I ignore no, he's a very good ignor. Yes, that. Did, did you just ignore the last part I said? He's like Robertson, but better on the ball. No. Yes. Keep going. Yes. Keep, don't cut it off there. Keep, Keep going. going. What? That was three seconds ago. We just spoke to each other. Keep no, going. You said better yeah. passer. Okay, listen. I'm the gaslighter. When you he, he's are... a gaslighter. He's a gaslighter. This, Big up to you. Look at this man. Listen, Felipe Salah's not going anywhere. Big up to Ryan says for Salah, Virgil van Dijk, Trent, and Allison, our standards are higher. So when they didn't perform, they should be criticized more. Gakpo is being hugely sick. Keep goated. I disagree with you. It's not that they need to be criticized more. It's that they have credit in the bank. It's there's something in life called credit in the bank. If Gakpo had the credit that Salah has, obviously the conversations would be different. But he doesn't have the credit or the Allison credit or the Trent credit. And if you think I'm bad at defending, like I'm shameless when it comes to defending Salah, I'm very shameless when it comes to defending Trent. You can ask this guy across from me last season. I refused to blame Trent for anything and he was getting roasted. So yeah. Hussam. How is our attack only good with Salah and we're joint top of the league, have won a cup and are on for a treble without him for two months? First of all, um, I never said it's only good with Salah. I said he elevates the ones around him. So Cody Gakpo, his overall level is a three. With Salah, he's a six. Diaz's overall level is a three. With Salah, it's a six. Nunes' overall level is a four. With Salah, it's a seven. So like he's... He elevates the people around him. This is the reality because he takes creates space for them by taking coverage from the other team, and he's 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 a good passer. And they only look good with Salah, is true, because together as a front three, they, they, it's disgusting to watch, bro. Like it's the reality. I'm, I'm sorry, it is disgusting to watch. That's but, why we need Mo Salah next. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jack Diaz. They that's actually, disgusting. They actually look quite watch. good. No, I'm I'm not I'm not saying it works, but I'm saying that. When Jota was in the seam and you had a combination of the other two, it also worked. So it's not just yeah, most salad not, or we die. It's, it's 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 competent clinical finishes and it looks good. The issue we have is we don't have a competent clinical finisher where, on the where side at the Jota? minute. Where's Jota right now? He's injured, mate, the in same Jota. way Sal has been for the past two months. Exactly. Exactly. Who called the Jota injury two months ago when you start leaning back when I said we should sign up forward? Exactly. What, now what is your point? My point is, I, 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 you're pro, proactive. Yeah, I'm. You're reactive. I'm proactive. That's the difference between us. You're just someone who just you react to the moment. What? what, what you react I didn't in want the to buy, Because I didn't want to buy a forward for the games that we that Joss has missed when he's missed yes. one loss Especially in speaking. a cup game. He's missed no, one loss in a cup no. game. And draws. He's missed one loss in a cup game. And draws. What draws in the Prem? So we missed City and he missed. What are the ones? What are the games we draw? You missed City and. What was the other game we drew? There was another draw. I just forgot about it. There is another draw. I'm sure there's another draw. Big up to you, Ray Ray. Uh, why do we never cross to Diaz either? He's really good in the we year. Hadn't we hadn't drawn a Premier League game bar Man City in 2024. That's a lie. It's true. We we, we drew um, to Arsenal. Well, no, we Brighton. lost to Arsenal. That that was Jota played in the in the one-all draw against Arsenal. He got injured in Brentford. So Jota got injured right. against Brentford. Jota got injured against Brentford in, on the 17th of Feb. We then won against Luton, won against Chelsea, won against Southampton, won against Forest, won against Sparta Prague, drew with City, won against Sparta Prague, and lost to United. Yeah, but there isn't there isn't that much there isn't that much of a diff difference like with the teams that we've played when it comes when it, when push comes to shove that's the thing like with Man City obviously you need a Jota with with the other teams you know like Luton at home you're expected to beat even with Harvey Elliott on the wing like that's not a game that I expect to us to struggle the same with with Chelsea at home as well. Because Chelsea are crap. You said it yourself. 
Southampton in the FA Cup, the fact that you included that shows that you are the most shameless person on this YouTube platform. I was just listing the games that he didn't yeah. play. Forest away, we won in the last second with a Nunez header. The point mm -hmm. is, and by the way, Forest away was actually another game where it was proof that it doesn't look good. And you know how I, I said Nunez, uh, Gakpo and, and, and Diaz are, are all not good enough. I said they look better with Mo Salah. Jota is very good and also looks better with Mo Salah. So like Jota is like an eight, but he's a nine with Salah. That's the reality because he just brings the best out of the rest. That's not an insult, by the way. I, I, so, so let's go back to your point. You said you wanted the four. What four would you bought in? I wanted a goal scoring winger, actually. That's what I said. What, so, so, yes, I, I, I would love a Lionel Messi type player. Who? I need names. What player would you have brought in? Oh, you're taking the piss saying Lionel Messi? Messi no, would no, be perfect. For us. I just want names. You can't just say I want a goal scoring winger. Everyone wants a goal scoring winger. And what Messi names? Played in against against Man United, we had created so many chances. Would have been beautiful. Yeah, because they don't mark. They don't mark in the midfield. But the point still stands. What player would you have wanted? What goal scoring winger did you? Want I don't to know. Play? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the scout. You know, I have so, to go look and so, look. So, so, what's the point? What's, what's so the am point? I the Liverpool what's scout? I, 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 I'm here to tell you that we need to sign certain positions, but I'm not a scout. You know, I don't get paid by the club. You get me? No, but you, there's got to be plays that you go and go, oh, yeah, I'd like a player like him at Liverpool. Yeah, like Jota, if you want, from our own squad. With yeah. a less injury-prone Jota. Do you think... I don't, I don't think we need to cross more That's to Diaz. That's Min Son. A less injury-prone Jota is Jung Min Son. Are we going to buy Jung Min Son in January? Obviously, but like a younger version and stuff. Don't be disingenuous. This is where you start being disingenuous. I'm not saying someone off the level of Diogo Jota. I'm saying similar profiles, you know. Uh, exactly. Anyone that can pass well or score, Jack, that's it. It's not that different. Not that difficult. Um, why do we never cross uh, to, to Diaz? Either he's good in the air, but we barely see it. I hear you. I hear you. He might be a good header, header of the ball, but the rest is where it's a problem. But I don't know. We do we do not see it. Actually, that is true. We don't see it. I think we we've abandoned our crossing style a bit. Diaz was our best player against United. No, he wasn't. Soboslai wasn't bad against United. But you frauds need to apologize to me. Um, I've been calling him out for months. Wait, what? Soboslai wasn't bad. So he hasn't. So he wasn't bad. You. What? You don't make any sense, right? You want an apology for being wrong? You realize how crazy this is. You've asked an apology for being wrong. You want an apology for you saying something wrong. And Diaz was not our best player against United. If someone just dribbles, that does not mean he had a good game. You want to know our best players against United? I don't even Kelleher. think... I, I mean, you want me to be honest? I don't even think anyone had a good game, per se, from the whole team. Ke Only Ke one Ke I would Kelleher say is... Kelleher was the best player. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, Kelleher and McAllister. I thought... I thought Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa had a decent game as well. Kwanzaa was shit. That was his worst game. Kwan Kwanzaa, sure. what, what, what do you want? Kwanzaa had a decent game. Only so much no, you can do when you've been putting constant two on ones because your right back isn't isn't dealing with an inverted run from one percent. No, he didn't. But notice what I said, Tom. I've already said I'm not scapegoating. I've, I don't think any player had a good game to be honest with you. We considered four to Man United. I don't think anyone had a good game. Uh, Diaz wasn't good either, by the way. I don't know why. The thing is, you know what it is, Ryan. I've actually got to know the type of person you are. You are Mr. Aesthetics at this point. Like you actually love aesthetics because you just look at a couple of <laughs> couple of dribbles and you're like directly he is our best player. Yeah, but based on what? Based on him dribbling respectfully. Like how how does that make sense, right, Ray Ray? Just because he dribbled past the fullback three four times, I don't think he has a good 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 game. Ray Ray, big up to you for actually showing up. Big up to you for the 499 that I called you out for. But you've been waffling. You've been absolutely waffling. Diaz is definitely not to, uh, Diaz is, was definitely not our best player. Salah definitely looks to, makes the others play uh, better. I never scapegoated Gakpo, but he was our worst player. You could say that, by the way. And 1920, you said we were on for a treble when in the Club World Cup we played two games. That's not the same as a full competition. Diaz is all flair. My wingers should be giving me at least 15 goals and 10 assists in the Premier League. Gakpo is just running with no football IQ. Gomez is good at left back. Jota, Nunez, Salah is what we need. I agree with that end there. I agree with, with the, the last three, the, the last sentence is 100% spot on. With everyone fit, 
Jota, Salah, Nunez is the correct front three. Do you agree I, with I, this? I, 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 be I, just, I, I don't agree. I don't agree because I think you're putting all the creativity on Salah then. So then you're keeping Salah away from his best area, which is kicking the round thing in the what back of the net. the same guy who wants to go, Jota can create. Jota can create. Didn't you say this? No. So you're said never claiming I, 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 said, I said he can link up, but not create in the same way that I'd want my winger to create. You said That's why Nunez I don't want it's why I don't want to play him on the wing. I don't you think Jota is a create. winger. I don't think Jota is a winger. Why can would I want lying? him on the wing if he's not a winger? Can you stop lying? Did you honestly not say Nunes can create? Don't lie. Do I not lie. Create. I said Nunes creates chances from... No, self. you said Nunes is playmaking for our front three. That's the word that me and you fought about as well. Do not lie. I remember our fights, fraud. I'm like a camel. I don't forget. Don't lie. Don't lie. You said Nunez is a playmaker on the front three. You used that word specifically as well. I said he, I said he links up in the front three. Yes. Do not lie, Tom. Just because you got caught. Just because you got caught. I, you said I Nunez said he playmaker. links up. I said he links no. up. You said Nunez playmaker in the front three. Chat, you can vouch right now. Chat, you can vouch. The, one of the arguments the, the we had on, a month ago on, when he said on, Nunez the could only play striker, The only striker who we've ever had who playmakes... Is Firmino. The rest link up. Suarez can't play make. Suarez linked up. Suarez can't play make. He can, oh but he God, didn't at so us. He linked hole. up. He linked up. So what part of hole. link? There is a difference between link up and play make. There's a difference between a link up and a play make. You're so deep in the hole right now. You're so unaware. You oh you God. told me a month ago, Nunez can play make. And, and everyone in the chat will vouch right now that you said do you that. Want know you what I, that. Do you want to know what? Do you want to know what I told you a month ago? I said Nunes is one of the most complete forwards in the Premier League. That was what I said. Yeah, by definition, that means he can play make. That means he can link up. Okay, and using your logic, by the way, even using your logic, Nunes left wing, Jota down the middle, Sal on the right. Why are you moaning? I don't. Why would I want to put Nunes away from striker where he's the most dangerous? Oh my god. Why we you are the, home you're home literally players? the same guy a month ago who said Nunez should play on the wing. Why are we trying to shoehorn players out of position? Why? So so Nunez left wing is shoehorn. But Gakpo on the left wing is not shoehorn. No, because Cody Gakpo is a left winger. If I end the stream right now, I wouldn't feel bad, honestly. So you think Nunes is you think Nunes is more of a natural left winger than Gakpo? I think Nunez is a better left winger than Diaz and Jota and and sorry and uh, Gakpo. When everyone's fit, Nunez on the left, Jota down the middle, Salah on the right. Done. There is nothing to argue. And if you argue with that front three, okay, chat. Let me let me disprove you right now. Chat with everyone fit. Name your front three. Chat right now. I don't want, and if you're not a Liverpool fan, tell me the front three that would worry you the, you the most. Don't write me your life stories. I don't want to see paragraphs. Just write me your front three right now. Front three, everyone fit. Chat right now. Front three, everyone fit. They're all agreeing with me, by the way, in the chat. Everyone fit right now. Big up to Felipe who says, Osam, do you want to still push for the title fraud? Yes, I do. I've always wanted to win the title, but the only way we win the title is if the other two drop points. That's what I've been saying from the start. Oh, look, the entirety of the chat is saying Nunez Jota Salah. Oh, that, what a that's shock. Great. That's great. Hasam. I really couldn't care. Only guy that says the same thing as you is JD Quinn, who I've never seen before. Big up to you. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. That's it. The, the entirety of the stream is literally Jota Salah. <laughs> look at this. Said Suarez, Torres, and Go. Torres would actually bang in this Liverpool team, Loki. Fucking Ngog, you know. David and go to seal it in front of the cup. David and go Liverpool win. <laughs> Big up to you guys. You guys have been super chatting so much. We haven't even had the chance to actually talk about that anything. I appreciate the love you guys are showing us. Opinions on Mr. Aura. Who's Mr. Aura? Gravenberg? Van, Di Va Van Dijk. No, I think he means Gravenberg. Who do you mean, why Smoke? Would be... Why would it be Gravenberg? No, because I started, what, what, I started what, calling what, him that. What aura does Gravenberg have? No, it's because because he defends with his perfume. But Gravenberg doesn't defend. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the, aka defending with your perfume. Just you think your smell is gonna stop the other guy. 
He's on. He's on about Graven Birch. What, what, what thoughts did he actually want? He didn't come off the bench. <laughs> what can I say on him? He didn't come. I, off. I think. Graven, I thought, is it I fair to say our worst signing this summer? Fair to say our worst signing this summer, right? No, not the guy sliding. Yes, already. because the three have been very successful. In, in, yeah, in, 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 are are you being sarcastic? No, the, are you telling me McAllister, Soberstein, Endo have not been successful? Okay, no, no, because the way you say stuff, sometimes you're sarcasm. Just, I thought they were risking. No, my, my point is, Gravenberch has looked. Gravenberch has been the worst, but in other windows we've had, he'd be he'd be looked at as one of the best signings. It's just we had such a high quality window. He's the worst. Big up Hussam, exclusive for you. What is Jason's next goal going to be called? Arama dance. Wouldn't, wouldn't it that only work so... if we scored in Ramadan now? Yes. So, like, factually speaking, I, the only game we have left in Ramadan is 31st March. Actually, no, that's the game on April 4th as well. Hey, that Sheff, because... he, might get, he might get game time against Sheffield United, to be fair. This was you delivering that joke, Battle Red. <laughs> See? It's easy, man. What's going on? That's how he's cooking out your goal, man. Come on. Garnacho goal. Does he, is yeah, he on about the overhead kick from Garnacho, which went in yeah. the other corner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, I saw you on the Nature Channel last night. How did you see him on the Nature Channel? I don't know. It's probably a shit joke he's got lined up. Finn, can you explain this joke, please? Because I feel like this joke could hit if you just explained it. It could hit. I'm going to need you to explain it in the chat. I saw Ryan, you on the news. Why, why, why is Ryan sitting there saying that the Sabastai hasn't been a successful signing, by the way? I need an explanation, Ben. I actually can't. <laughs> I love I love this chat, man. Just randomly. I'm a registered Batman. Okay, Marvel. <laughs> oh, he's a happy clapper. What's a happy clapper? He's part of the happy clapping seals. You get me. What? The emoji what? was a seal. What's I'll the explain happy to you what happy clapper is. Let me actually just deal with the literally last two super chats so we'll move on. Cody on the left would be horrible. Fine shame. Silly boy. With Soboslai, people have realized he's been poor for ages. That's why I deserve an apology. I, I haven't I haven't said Soboslai is poor, by the way. I disagree with that. I still think our best midfield three includes Soboslai in it. Yeah, it has to because he does so much work. Yeah, he does his work rate on the right from an even from just a defensive perspective is elite. You know, Cody on the left would be horrible. I completely agree with you, Ryan. First time we agree. Him on the left would be I the epitome of a disaster. That would be disagree. disaster right there. The last thing I would need is to see Cody Gakp on the left wing because by the time the counterattack finishes, the guy is already like, you know, the guy, like the people are in the dressing room and the game finished and he's still. Get me just so slow. When I told Tom about his explosiveness, he started leaning back and crying. Now he saw it. Nunez's best numbers come come at left wing, Tom. Fact. This was the same guy. Jack, you see why this guy's the biggest gaslighter? He was the same guy, same guy, verbatim, who said Nunez should play on the left wing from now on, like a month ago. He scores Dinner. one winner against Forrest, and all of a sudden we should play him down the middle. No, we shouldn't. Yeah, he, do, he, he didn't play back, on the left the wing middle. then. Do you know how many games Nunes has played on the left wing this season? Do you know how many? I don't know. That's not true. That cannot be true. That's true. Go, go on, transfer market. Have a look. He's got four games on the left wing. Transfer market is wrong. My item Transfer wrong. market. Okay, okay. The most reliable websites. For, for, for all the sort of wrong. Like, what's the price tag they put on Nunez's head top? What's his price? What the, the value they've given him? Yes, yes. What's the value? The value they've given Nunez is 70 million euros. Yeah, obviously, that's a wrong site then. Big up to you, Jack. Um, Gakpo will come good, man. Uh, some people forget Nunez was dog crap just a few months ago. Now he's so much better, but Diaz has to go and Jota needs backup. I'll be honest with you. I actually, fact, I genuinely believe Gakpo has been worse than Diaz at this moment in time. Like Diaz was bottom spot, he moved up a spot, but now he's just like below him again. So like, it's just, it's just nothing wrong with the guy, you know. I just don't think he's a Liverpool style forward. You know what I said on the watch along? The only way Gakpo works. I've got stats. I've got stats. But I don't care about stats. Liverpool. 
I, I, I do care about stats because output is important for forwards. Luis Diaz has played 86 games for Liverpool. All of them coming as part of a front three. So either on the left or on the right. 86 games, 22 goals, 9 assists. Cody Gakpo has played 68 games for Liverpool. The majority of them have been as a centre forward. The next closest is central midfield. The next is left wing. The next is right wing. But it's about a, a 30, ga- 30 games up front or 40 games up front. About eight in central midfield, eight on the left, eight on the right sort of thing. 68 games, 20 goals and six assists. So Gakpo's output is better. I don't care about that. I care about. You don't care about output now. We don't care about output now. Even that's the no, big no, thing no, you've no, been no, going no. on about. Yes, I test and and think together. The only way, listen to what I'm about to say. The only way that Gakpo works in Liverpool Football Club is in midfield. That's literally the only way he works. Yes, the only way that he works is in midfield. And you need a haircut. Let's get that in as well. That's you see why he's he left the room. He left the room because he's been wrong for the last three months and it pains him. That's the only way he works in the Liverpool team, midfield. Give Gakpo the benefit of the doubt. It's his first season at Liverpool. Am I getting that one right, wrong as well? Aya, uh, it's his second season. He was there the last six months of last year. You get me? So he's had the adaptation period and all of that. I just don't think, you know, I just, you know, give him a chance and all this. That's just, that's just, you know, that's just bait. Midfield, you know, midfield. Tom, yeah. Not be a fraud. He's changed to left wing mid game. Yeah, Tom is always fraudulent. What is fraudulent? You're mentioning transfer market and stats and shit like Oh my like god, this. oh my god. So drifting stats. out to left wing, but still being the, the main striker. Is the same as playing on the left wing. You cry again. Here you can have tissue. You want tissue? Cry. Cry more. Fraud. Why are you always leaning back and crying? You could just have a debate. You see how I've not lost my cool? I oh, haven't also, had water. Also, oh, I haven't had on, coffee. I haven't had cigarettes. And I'm still on, not mad. On, You're the one who's on. mad. Uh, every, Can I just read the last there. one? No, 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 you, 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 it's literally the last I, apo- I apologize, DJ Brains, but I need to address Mr. Ray Ray. You know, Cody Gakpo has just one less goal and one less assist in the Premier League than Diaz this year, despite playing 700 yeah, less Diaz minutes. Been good. Why are we comparing them? This is my thing. Where is your standards? They're all left wingers, mate. You say both are not good. That's it. Both are not good. That's the reality. I Why are we sat here in Gakpo versus Diaz? Have the same opportunities. He no, no, he's had, had the same opportunities. No, he has had opportunities. No, he has he's had no, opportunities on the wing. He's had opportunities as the striker. He's had, and he's stank in all these positions. He's stank. Solid stable no, he midfield hasn't. before Jones, before injury. Jones, McAllister, and Soboslai. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Soboslai is a part of the of the thing. Like I agree, Soboslai is a part of our best midfield. We cannot deny that. We cannot deny that. My only problem is, okay, let me. I don't want to start ranting. Big up for the super chats, Aya. Jack, Vin, Battle Red, Brains, Sapi Sap, Ray Ray, Felipe, Smoke, um, you get me, Param, Ed, and Nags. All of the super chatters, you guys have not made us start the stream yet for a little about 40 minutes in. So I appreciate that. You guys' love is, is, is unbelievable. So I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys are liking the video and subscribing because now we're actually going to get into it. You know, because the first 40 minutes wasn't just super chats. It was super chats and it was the roasting of Tom because Tom got roasted for all his crap opinions. You know, but we love him, so we invite him back in it. So hit the like button, subscribe. Let's get to 200 likes ASAP. 500 people in here. Don't move like a bunch of Cody Gakpos. I want you guys to hit the like right now. So, Tom, tell me your thoughts, finally, of the Manchester United game. You get me. It was, it was a bit of shit, but it is what it is. That's it. Thank you for the great content there, Tom. You have changed my life. What what, what do you want? Uh, Was I annoyed that we lost to United? Yeah. But if there was one competition that I had to... You you had a gun to me and said, you've got to go out of one competition to the FA Cup because I want to win the other two more. So I'm glad that the... I'm glad that the loss has come in the FA Cup and not in the league. I don't think we played well. I I, I don't think we played well. I I thought we were quite... Can you at least give me a two-minute breakdown respect the people? What more is it? Just to say two that minutes. I'm not asking you for deep, in-depth analysis. Just two minutes. We we were crap. What went we wrong? Could... Where did we get it wrong in the game? Why did we lose? What we happened? couldn't deal. We, we could we couldn't deal with anything in the wide areas. Like I said in the, in the 40 minutes of super chats, we were getting done time and time and time again by inverted Wamba Saka runs. 
that is the lowest I've felt this season as a Liverpool fan. Watching Aaron Wambasaka have tactical nows against us. Joe Gomez was lost. Robertson lost. Salah crap. Nunes crap. Diaz crap. The midfield I have sympathy for because they had to cover so much ground because they'd switch the ball once and it'd be everywhere and the defense would be all lost and then the the, the fullbacks would be going up and that it was horrendous. Ping pong a little bit. Not a little bit. Oh, we, we had no, we had no control. We missed Curtis Jones massively, and I, I anyone who anyone who's been on Curtis Jones is back for two years now. Understand his importance to the team. Don't say, two years. Don't say two years. Don't say two years. This year, this year, people are allowed to change their opinions because he cooked this year. He cooked. I'm not letting people forget some of the stuff they said about Curtis Jones. It's not being forgotten. At the time, it was true. At the time, it's not being it's not being forgotten. Where, where, where's trusting in the boys? Where, where's giving the youngsters time to develop? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Where's the FA Cup that you promised me? We're going to win the quad. Oh, yeah, no, I'm are. so bothered. I'm so bothered. There you are. The Suddenly, he isn't bothered about the FA Cup. He was the same guy telling me a week ago, we're going to win the quad. You're the you're the, the embodiment yeah. of fraudulence. You're the embodiment. You are Cody Gakpo. So, sorry, I, I apologize, people. He's right. I apologize for wanting to win football matches and but that's win not trophies. The point. I apologize, I people. I, I really, honestly, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, people. He's got me there. I apologize for thinking we beat Manchester United. I said, I apologize. Happy Sam, happy. did you think we were going to beat Manchester Can United? Can you once and for all admit now, this is the time, even Lauren admitted it yesterday. She actually DM'd me, she's like, she apologized. She, she's like, Hossam, you were right. Can you publicly admit right now that we should have beaten City? Right now. And that was no. a must-win game. No. So you still say no. You're so no. stubborn. You're so stubborn. You're getting slapped in the face with a frying pan. And you're like, let me get another slap with a pressure cooker just to make sure. That Manchester City game, the reason why I was upset on YouTube and I was the one that called you out, and called mm -hmm. Andre out and Lauren out and everyone is because we should have won that game. Because we yeah, gave us... What was the keyword I used? I said margin for error. Now we have no margin for error. And guess what? We go away to Man United again. We go away mm -hmm. to Everton. We play mm -hmm. Spurs at home. And we mm -hmm. go away to Aston Villa. That's mm -hmm. four. That's four games right there that yeah. we absolutely have zero margin for error. Had we mm -hmm. beaten Manchester City at home like we were supposed to, we could have drawn. Mm -hmm. One of those games. Or actually, factually speaking, never mind draw. We could have lost one of those games and still been mm -hmm. champions. That's the difference. Yes, Tom is a happy clapper. Tom is one you of the people you, who's you, like you, a seal. That just you, still haven't, clapping you, still haven't, you still haven't told me what one of these happy clappers are, so I don't know. Happy clappers is basically people like you who came here after the City game and pretended it was a good result. Because it it's all results. like, oh, we're going to win. You know how like you know how when you see Watch National Geographic, that's what Vince joke it banged. Because you weren't there doing the watch along and all that. When I was calling people like you out. Happy clappers is like seals. You know how when you watch seals on National Geographic and they're just doing this? Like just happy clapping like a seal. That's it. So, you know? So, because you're so happy I, I, clapping. I'm, I, I'm a happy clapper for being for saying that not losing to City was a good result. Yes. 100%. Right. The only good result was us winning. Mm -hmm. you, the difference me and you have, and we will yes. say it once again, yes. you don't believe... That any team we are up against in this title race is going to drop points. You mean Arsenal and City? You don't believe they're going to drop points, or one of them is? No, I actually think I actually think Arsenal win. I don't think City will. So you think Arsenal will drop points and City won't? Yes. So but but by the are... way, I've been logical about this. The but I've been I've been really um, I've really kept the same energy about this. Okay. So all we have to do then effectively is win all our games to win the title. Yes, that's true. But then in the same breath, City have to win all their games to win the title. No, they don't. Well, yes, they do. No, they don't. Can I tell you why they don't? Because oh, we because are you, you, way more you, likely Because to you think points. in the last nine games of the season where Liverpool being fucking brilliant, we're going to drop points in half of them? No, I didn't say half of them. I said we will drop points. Yes, and, and everyone around us will. No, I disagree with this that. Is, I think this is not the same high-quality title race that it has been in years gone by where you're going to need 97 points. It's not. No, Tom, you're missing the point. I just I just explained it to you. City could win all of them. City could dead-ass win 10 from 10. I don't think we can. And so could we. So could we. No. Because we've got easier fixtures. No. We've got easier fixtures. No, we don't. Man United, the way, yeah. just proved it. 
I'm going to just away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I could just pull up City and go, well, City have to play Tottenham away, which they haven't won out in the Premier League. Okay, no problem. That's a tough fixture. I'll give you that. There's no need for you to cry. Who, what else is a tough fixture? City have uh, Arsenal at the Etihad. Tough okay, that's a, a tough fixture. Draw. No problem. That's two. Aston Villa. Back Aston Villa at home is not be- a tough fixture. No, it's not. A- 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 Aston, home, Villa no. beat the- a- Aston Villa beat them earlier on the season. Tom, we it's not an easy game at home. Away from it's home, not, yes, but their away form it's, it's, is crap. It's, 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 oh, not, no. it's not. An e- it's not. an easy game, though, is it? It's not an easy game. I, 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 you know what it is. If I'm making a prediction for that game, I'm going three 0 City. I, I don't even believe Villa's gonna get anything in that game. Villa are crap away from home, Tom. It's not an insult. And you're City asking have... for my opinion. I've given you Arsenal. I've given you uh, who, who? What's the other game? Tottenham Spurs away. Yes. What else? Go on. Um, Fulham away. Tough game. Good ground. They've beaten Arsenal this year. You say no, it looks like they haven't got a brilliant record at home. Fulham away, ladies and gentlemen. Mighty Manchester City are going to drop points. Fulham away. Who else, Tom? Are you going to say Forest away next? No, Forest away should be an easy win. Okay, who else? That's probably their three hardest games. Four so hardest games. Game, Fulham. Yeah, full. You're acting like Fulham away is not a tough game. No, Fulham away is so tough. That's such a tough fixture. I'm shitting myself for Fulham away. We go to Fulham away as well, by the way. Is that a tough yeah. fixture? It's a tough okay, fixture so we have for us. five tough fixtures out of ten then. No, because you're counting. You're counting Tottenham at home. <laughs> oh, you're the same guy that told me that has draw written all over it. I ago. never said Tottenham at home has draw written all over it. Never once said that. Mm. I think we win every single one of our home games to win the season. Mm. We win every single one so, of our so home games. So Fulham away is tough for us as well. Fulham away is tough, yeah, hundred percent. So, so four games tough for us and two games tough for City. You've got United away that's tough, Everton away that's tough. Yes. Um, Villa you've away. You've got Villa away that's tough, Fulham away that's tough. Yeah. But, but the difference that we have compared to City is we don't potentially have to play our title rivals in a Champions League semi-final midway through the season. We don't have yeah, to play Real Madrid Arsenal. twice. We Let don't have to play Real Madrid Arsenal. twice. Do, do you think Bayern are well. knocking out Arsenal? No. I actually think so Arsenal it's gonna, beating Bayern. So it's going to be City versus Arsenal in the semi-final? No, no, but hear me out. Hear me out. Remember the Ab- Bri- the Arsenal game? We actually done Hussam Hussan X Tom Little on the morning of the Porto game, remember? And what did I tell you? I told you I'm taking my chances. There's a five out of seven chance they draw a tough team, right? Mm-hmm. Arsenal have not shown us that they can go Prem, Champs, Prem, Champs, mm-hmm. Prem, and, and, mm-hmm. and not drop any points. That we haven't seen that, factually speaking. I so agree. that's why Arsenal now are the least of my worries. Yeah, I think Arsenal are beating Bayern Munich because Bayern are crap. Mm-hmm. But I think Arsenal drop points after Bayern, both home and away. Yeah. So I think they'll beat Bayern. So I'm saying, okay, Arsenal will go through. But they're going to drop points in both the Premier League games around that. With mm-hmm. City Madrid, I trust City because they've been do- doing this for the last six years that they can win Premier League and Champions League games both. Now, after Madrid, it's mm-hmm. going to be Spurs away. So I think, obviously, they're going to drop points in that. I've, I've already said from before, they're going to drop points in that. My yeah. only issue, Tom, is in the, in the nine games in the Premier League, now that you've mentioned, we have four tough ones. Even using your own logic, we have four tough ones. Mm-hmm. Had we beaten Manchester City, this is why you're wrong, and you should just come here like a man and say you're wrong. Had no, we beaten know, Manchester yeah. City, we have a margin for error, which means I could go to uh, to, uh, to uh, Everton away and get a draw. I, I, I've, I've, I've figured it out. I, I, I've figured it out. You think City beat Arsenal on, no. on first game I back. actually... I actually think that game ends in a draw. So that game ends in a draw. So guess what? We beat Brighton. That game ends in a draw. We got three points. Got a three point yeah, difference. Yeah, but, but I don't care. We can draw. We can draw. That's short So the, mar- the margin of error is still there. No, that's short termism. Oh my God. Also, there's no margin of error when you have three points. Oh my God. There's no margin of error when you have three points. The margin of error is when you have four. People, am I going insane? Am I going insane? Or is there yes. three points? Because had we beaten the city at Anfield, we'd have been four points ahead. You have a margin of error. We've been four points ahead. Not three. Four. Four points ahead. Had we beaten City at home. And you're lagging like crazy right now. Even your internet don't agree with the shit that you're saying. (laughs) Are you still lagging, Tom? I don't know if you're lagging or you've frozen. You actually are lagging, by the way. I'm not taking the piss. I mean, 
I don't know. I gen- I'm just looking at this. Going, four, you are four points mental. is margin if of error. Think four is margin, losing. three isn't. Yes, because the reason why four points is margin of error. What, what, speaking, what game? Do, what game do you think we lose? What What game do you think we lose? I don't think we lose. For your margin of error to be relevant, game. you have to lose a game. So, what game do we lose? I think we're capable of throwing four games. <laughs> it's four points. That is that is that's factually true. You you can cry all you want, I'm gonna be real with you. That's my honest opinion. We are capable of okay. I'll ask you a question right now since you want to lean back. Let me ask you a question. Put your headphones back on, stop moaning like a little bitch, and just grow up. So let me ask you a question. What's stopping the front line that let us down against Brighton and that let us down against City, mm. that let us down against Arsenal mm. at home, that let us down against United away mm. in the cup to not do this again? Mm. Can you guarantee me? Guaranteed right now that we're gonna win United, Everton, and I'll I'll not even use my example, I'll use yours. Fulham and 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 Villa. Those four games I guarantee you, what's I, stopping I, us? I, no, I let, me, let me ask the question I, so you I, can I, stop leaning back. Just, uh, what's stopping us? Mm-hmm. What's stopping us from going there, having possession, doing all that good stuff the same way we done against City, and then our front line messing up chance after chance after chance, and then we end up drawing the game. Go on. What's stopping that? I, I guarantee we win three out of those four games. <laughs> but you're saying three out of four, though, so my point stands. I'm not saying we no, drop points in all four. That's the difference. No, it doesn't. Do you, do you want me to be We've got ten games left to win the season, don't we? I reckon we win nine of them. Okay. And which one we're dropping points? One of them four. Whichever one. Pro- probably the one which comes after a tough Europa League game in the semi-final. So probably Villa. Mm. Okay. But going on the basis that City draw to Arsenal, a draw is fine. And you win the title. That's short term thinking. It's short term. I've literally went 10 games. In. I've, I've done the next 10 games, but it's short term thinking. What are can you I, on I about in short term thinking? Can I tell you one thing? I don't think Arsenal. I don't think Arsenal are to be worried about at this moment in time because of the UCL. Well, that, that, that's why we've not been told about them, Hassan. But no, but that's why I want Arsenal to beat City. Okay, then that's even better for us then, isn't it? That's even yes, better for I, us. Yes, I hope that happens. I hope that happens. I pray fact, to God Arsenal beat you, City. You know, you, know, you know what the issue is, Hassan? No, I don't want that because then Arsenal do the double over City. And the confidence they get from that is way too much. Way too much. Yeah, but- yeah, but then I don't trust Arsenal in the final 10 games to play UCL and Prem. I just don't. If, if they did a double over City, they will, they'll will manage it. They'll just ride off momentum. I don't, I don't think you understand how big doing the double over your title rivals is. No, I, I agree with you. I hear that. That's a fair argument. And, and once again, you see the difference between me and you. I actually say, if you've made a fair argument, I actually think momentum is, your, is a strong debate as to why you wouldn't want that to happen. So I don't I I understand a draw a draw is the best outcome. No, but that's just short term for me. Long term, I would rather City lose. City losing is the better thing for me. It it comes down to how many games. So a draw is a bad result, maybe if City win every single one of their games. But I don't believe that's going to happen because of the Champions. Yeah, but League that's like the that's the scenario I have in my mind. City just win, 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 win. That's but the- I but I but my thing is the City team isn't as good as the ones that have done that. It yeah, is. but I've seen I've seen us I've seen them do this before. April May, mm-hmm. I've seen them go on a mad tangent and just win all games and yes. shit. So yes, when I, they, I'm when putting, they I'm putting that scenario in my teams. mind. But when they had some really good teams that were some of the best ever, I'm I'm seeing a city team now that is good, but is is needing moments and individual brilliance to get through games which they've never needed before. If Can I go I through cities, if, 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 if I go through cities. If if I go through City's last five games, yes, in the league, one yes. on draw against us where they were the second best team, yes, three one against United where yeah they they battered them, but United yes. went one nil ahead, uh, one nil against Bournemouth where if Dango Uatro could kick a ball straight, it's a draw, one nil against Brentford where their goal came from the centre back slipping, yes, otherwise it's a draw, and one one against Chelsea. They've won what they've won three out of the last five, and only one of them by more than one goal. This isn't the same city team that we've seen in previous years where they just start 
battering teams winning four, five, three, four, and the games are so cut and dry. This isn't that same team. There's going to be more drop points for this city team. That's that's that that's there. No way he's gone it's, now. it's mad to be always right about my football club, Oscar. It is what it is. Oh, yeah. I the, hate football. Right. Don't, 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 okay. don't ask a man about don't ask a man about his Sally. Don't ask a woman his age, their, their age. Don't ask Kasam about his opinions on Curtis Jones pre-2022. Which were factually true. He wasn't as good. He's not as good as... as you as, said, you as said he was our worst midfielder, including Charlie Adam. Okay, but that was two years ago. That was last season. That was last season pre he played good in the last 10 games. That was bad Curtis Jones. You ha- you that was dribble, dribble Kurt- Curtis Jones. You, you written Curtis Jones off and said he was horrendous. You know, if I look at your bad opinions, guys, yeah, Tom but Little I, wanted, I, I own my Tom Little wanted own Thomas my Tuchel to take over from Jurgen Klopp last year. I didn't. I didn't, but he was a name there. We wouldn't even be in this position had Tuchel been our manager. We wouldn't I, I, be I never... I, I, so Sam, you know I didn't want Tuchel as my first choice. You know who my first That's choice has been. Also, you know speaking who of my first choice has been. Why is Amarim knocked out by Atalanta? Can you tell the people? Um, there you, you are. I, I can there you are. You I, can, I, I, can, oh, I can explain if you want. On your head top, you fraud. Mr. Amarim. I want Amarim yeah. to replace Klopp. You know you're okay. going to get cooked anytime. Let Sporting Lisbon bottle this league. Let Sporting Lisbon bottle this mm. league and me and you are going to have conversations about your daddy manager that you just love mm-hmm. and keep talking about 24-7. Who got yep. knocked out, Habibi? Huh? Who got knocked out? You're talking about my takes? Well, your Sporting takes. Did... Sporting got knocked out because the best player got injured again. Oh, he, he, here he, we go. I, I mean, I mean, oh. I can explain it. I can explain it, but if you're just going to go, oh, here we go. First off, they weren't the favourites going into that tie. Unlike... Us and unlike Leverkusen, Sporting weren't the favourites going into a game against Atalanta. Then he could his best player, Pedro Gonçalves, played a grand total of thirty minutes across both legs because of injury. He's the only one who scored. He, he scored in the second leg as well. He's the reason he went ahead. And then his strikers proceeded to miss three one on ones in the in the second half. The second leg, not much more he can do. He he actually dominated the, the second leg. But his strikers didn't take the chances, and he's got to play a shit second string keeper. You know who loses to Atalanta? It's funny this. You know who loses to Atalanta? Jurgen Klopp. Wow, you're attacking Jurgen Klopp. To I'm, I'm not attacking Jurgen Klopp. To I'm defend not Amarim. I'm not attacking him because a loss to Atalanta isn't a bad result. Also, why are you mocking Chabi Alonso? He's through to the next round. Chabi Alonso conceded four goals to Kariabag FC, neither the red card and a 96th minute winner to get through. Yeah, and that's the no problem. That's a sign of a winner. You win in the last second. He played against the team from did Azerbaijan. You see what doing to them at the end, he, I saw he that. Played, he played against a team from Azerbaijan that we beat seven nil when we were crap. Wasn't that uh, the other team, Maribor? No, it was Karabag. Weren't it? No, we beat Maribor seven nil, not Karabag. Also, we beat when, Atalanta when have we five Ka- When have we played Karabag? Oh my god, we beat I, I, why, did I, why did I mix up Karabag with Manabo? There you are. There you are. Anyway, there you are. It's still it's still an Azerbaijan. Why are you so deep? Like, why are you so in love with Amarim to the point where you can't because even Because he ticks all the boxes. I, I what, what do you want me to criticize him on? He went out with the Europa League as the as name the three bad oh, name yeah. three bad things about Amarim right now, since you're capable. Um last year he, he was a bit too defensive over the striker. He probably should have dropped him a little bit earlier than he did. Um, occasionally he leaves his midfielders out to drive with the tactics, but that can be in the case if you've got an athletic midfield, which he doesn't have. And his, he often over relies on youth players when the form's bad. So you'll see if in our case, he'd be you'd see him dropping like McAllister and Nunes to play young kids because he knows it keeps fans on side. Okay, anything else? No, I'm just asking you. I don't know why your 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 head's gone for no reason. Like, I, I'm not. You, you you just asked, and I've I've given you it, and and you, like uh, yeah, he, he's had these he's things checking on you. Yeah, but he uh, if you're asking me to tick all these other boxes, yes, he ticks them. 
Yeah, and, and does Alonso take them or are you mocking Alonso? You're mocking the former Liverpool legend to prop up some random Portuguese guy. I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't say Alonso was a Liverpool legend. Uh, I mean, I hold legends in a bit of a higher thing than... Well, you said Alonso. Wijnaldum was a legend. No, I've never said Wijnaldum was a legend. Oh my God. When, 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 when Jurgen Klopp came out and said Wijnaldum was a legend... I was one of the few people to say he's not a Liverpool legend, and you were like, "Oh yeah, he's a legend." And all the ones who won the league for us are legends. I've never said all. I hated Wayne Alderman in his last year. I thought he was fucking shit. He's not a legend. Yeah, but me and you agreed on that. We both thought he was crap at the end. Yes, but I didn't think he was a legend. Are you seeing what Are you seeing what Chabi Alonso is doing with Leverkusen? Can you talk to me about the other side of the coin ja as well? Chabi Alonso is doing really good things at Leverkusen. It's incredible. It, it, it's really impressive what he's doing with Leverkusen. Yeah, he beat really Freiburg nice as well at the end. Yeah, yeah, well, well done. You beat Freiburg. Well done. Again, good results. Yeah, 20. Well, I mean, he couldn't beat Atlanta, your guy. No, no, he couldn't. Freiburg, Atlanta, same level, both of them in the Europe. No, League. no. Oh my God. Tetting! Tetting! Pow, 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 pow! On your head, top fraud. Hey, hey. He actually has. You could name me. You could name zero me. Losses in the Bundesliga, you, you know this? Yes, he's got zero losses in any competition. Mm. He's unbeaten across this whole season. Yeah, I know it's it's very impressive. Mm. But, but why why can't you just give him praise for thirty seconds? I will. I, what more praise do you want? He's he's a he's a fantastic young manager. I think he's done incredible things over at Leverkusen. He's playing some really lovely football. He's mm. not who I want as the Liverpool manager. You were the guy that Didn't... lost to Atalanta. No, I want. Yeah, I want Ruben Amrim. <laughs> <laughs> you were the guy that lost to Atalanta. You know, it is what it is. Yes. It is what it is, guys. <laughs> Do you think Sporting Lisbon go into a game against Atalanta's favourites? Of course. No, they don't. Because everyone, you know why it's bollocks. You know why it's bollocks. Because everyone, whenever I mention Ruben Amrim, they go, "Oh, the Portuguese league shit." But apparently their team is good enough to be favourites against the top Serie A side. The Portuguese league is shit, but there's three teams who are good. Look at this, man. Look at this, bollocks. Tom, why are you? Why? Why do you always get so angry? You know, in the in the in the in the draw, I don't know if you were there during my draw video. I actually said at the start, I want Atalanta from the start. That's the easiest team. And we got Atalanta. I don't know why you acting like Atalanta is tough. Of course, they're favourite, bro. Stop being disingenuous. That's the one thing. Sporting literally me. have the better team. Just no, stop being disingenuous and make any no, argument. They don't. don't. Oh my god, they don't. They don't. Sporting do not have a better team than Atalanta. Sporting do have a better team than Atalanta. No, Actually, right, okay. Do, do, you want, do you want to go through pound for pound? Because we'll go through pound for pound then. No, 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 no. I don't want to go there because I want to talk we, about we'll Liverpool. We'll, we'll turn Liverpool stream into a sporting versus Atalanta. No, 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 no. We're not about to do that, Tom. I don't want to do that. Let's no, no, it's, it's, too, it's, too, it's too late. It's too late. No, it's, it's not late. too late, Tom. I actually have to go through the Super Chats and I have to talk about Liverpool a little bit as well, you fraud. So let's, let's just not do that. You're the biggest fraud, honestly. Man out here doing... Just cutting in. along... Cussing Alonso just to prop up his guy who lost to Atalanta. Unbelievable. Anyway, 530 people in here. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel if you're yet to do so. That's what I'm saying, Saad. He's fighting for his life for this MRM guy. Like, he'd take a bullet for him at this point. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing right here, right now. Uh, I'm going to go through the super chats before we just... Uh, just because we haven't even spoken about the Gakpo thing yet. So, let me just... We have to unpack the Gakpo thing. I, I, mean, I see Tom has the picture ready. So, we're going to talk about that. Slap up the like button. Subscribe. Let's get to 250 likes ASAP. Shout out to all the super chatters. We're actually going to address them now. Big up to my guy, uh, Sapi Sapu says, Gakpo in midfield has to be uh, the worst take, Hussam. I don't think it's the worst take. He's slow as hell. He's good at passing the ball. He could play in the middle. Uh, how do you think the final 10 games will go, says Felipe? I actually think in order for us to win the league, we have to go 10 from 10. We literally have zero margin for error because I don't believe Fulham away is tough for City. I don't believe all this, like, Spurs away and Arsenal at home. That's it. 
The other nine games are all easy peasy, lemon squeezy, three points every every single game. It's just it's just not difficult at all. So that's why for me, that's that's what I'd say. By the way, guys, just quickly, there's something. I want all 500 of you in the chat right now. Make sure you guys are wishing Vel a happy birthday because it's Vel's birthday today. It is not actually a joke. It's not actually the thing that I used to say to Tom. It really is Vel's birthday today. So happy birthday to Vel in the chat right now. You get me? Obviously, he got paid last week so he could take that money and celebrate today. So happy, uh, not last week, actually two days ago. So happy birthday to Vel in the chat right now. Wish him a happy birthday. He actually turns 29 today. Happy birthday, chat. Uh, to to Val, Tom, you have any happy birthdays to Val, or are you just gonna be an asshole? Uh, sorry, uh, happy birthday, Val. Now, for your birthday, you should um work on that cap cut video and get rid of the thing at the end. We're not doing free advertising on this channel, but happy birthday <laughs> anyway. Yeah, happy birthday, Val. But remove the cap cut stuff. I agree. How the final ten games will go, Tom? Uh, we win nine and draw one. I uh, have you fully just gave up on the stream if you just fully leaned back. No, I'm not. Just... I, do you want me to? I can't break down each individual result, but I think we, uh, we win nine and draw one. I'd rather you be like this, you know, sat up front, your shoulders kicked up instead of you looking like a five foot three midget. Now you look like your normal self. You good, Tom? Get me shoulders up. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm like your big brother, you know, I could teach you stuff. Look, look, you stuff. look at this one. Look at this. Physically one. with the women, physically with a lot of stuff. Big up to you. I'm all Sam, right, Sam, Sam, never mind L, Tom. If your girl ever watches this stream, I think she, you're going to have the biggest fight. Fulham, but, you're but, having by the a way, could, could, You know, we're all about the same Fulham that have just dispatched Tottenham 3 0. Battered them 3 0. We're all about the same Fulham that beat Arsenal at home, something we couldn't do. We're at the same form that probably should have beaten us at Craven Cottage when we played them in the cup and we got a 1-1. Now, this, this isn't a Fulham side that you walk up. This is a Fulham side that, again, we're three minutes away from getting a draw, four minutes away from getting a win at Anfield. This is not an easy team in Fulham. Let's stop disrespecting Fulham here. They're a tough team. They're a well-organised machine. They're disciplined. They know We're not disrespecting them. I don't think City will beat them as disrespect. That's not disrespect. No, but it's a tough game. Uh, it, it's disrespectful to say Fulham can't get something. Considering City have lost to like Wolves this season, it, it's disrespectful to say that Fulham can't get something. Does City the... play Wolves again, by the way? At home, yeah. Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto's out for the season. Shit. Spooby, you keep saying pay rise. You don't even know how much I pay this guy. How how can you say pay rise? What if I pay him a gra one thousand pounds a month? What are you gonna say? Pay rise, pay rise, pay rise. Where the, how where about the you can my one grand a month? So you can help him get a pay rise. Fraud, Northern Irish fraud. Hold that. Uh, who's BM? Oh, Bayern Munich will knock out Arsenal. If I'm wrong, I'll change to Red Cat of Teranga until May. Will you wager, Hussam? I, I cannot wager, but you've just said it right now. You've just said it right now, Red Line of Teranga. You said it yourself. You have to change to Red Cat of Teranga if Arsenal beat Bayern. I fully believe Arsenal. Do you actually believe Arsenal are going to beat Bayern, Tom? No. Uh, I mean, I, I could see. It depends how they get on in the home leg because there's no Bayern fans for the home leg because they got banned. It's all Arsenal fans. If Arsenal can get two, three nil ahead there, then Arsenal win. But if it's if it's a narrow like one nil or a one one, buy and go through with the Allianz. Because I don't know if Arsenal are ready for an Allianz away on a European. But do you think it's the same Allianz away that we faced as an example like five years ago? I don't think it's the same one. Yeah, I, I think Allianz away is always a tough game, regardless of the. It's so crap this year. By, no, Bayern are a good team. But Bayern are always going to be a good team. But you've got to bear in mind, I've seen shit Liverpool teams, but because of Anfield, it gets carried through. Stadium heritage passes. The Allianz is always going to be a tough place to go. Yeah, but even United, if Arsenal like, have the way to Bayern. If, Ar the if Arsenal... Aren't... Yeah, and, and, and they lost. No, but they lost. you have to be honest. United gave Bayern a massive run for their money, and if it wasn't for a dodgy handball, Bayern don't win that game. 
Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm no, not even trying to do I'm, Arsenal prop. I, you know, by the way, no, no, I've, no, I've, I've been saying Bayern not crap from the start of the season. So I have been consistent on this opinion. I just don't think they're good at all. Yes, but I, Bayern ultimately have fuck all. Uh, everything's in the Champions League basket now. The league's done. So I, I think that with just the Champions League to play, I think you'll see a different kind of Bayern. They can experiment more in the league and figure out what's working. I think they've been a little bit too pessimistic so far this season, but now I think they're going to turn a corner and start sort of puffing their chest out and go, we're buying fucking Munich. And then... I hear you. No, that's played, a possibility. When, You're right. When, possibility. When, when, when you've got like Davies and Kane and Sane and top, top players like that and Kimmich, sometimes the quality just shines through. Kimmich at Liverpool would bang. The thing is, uh, my guy Red Lion, I would not take any bets. You have to make that bet. I didn't make any bet. So you now have to make your name Red Cat of Taranga. And if Byron win, I ain't going to do nothing. Hold that. Uh, Fulham away is also a hard team to beat, uh, King Hossam. Fulham away is a tough game, but this is my problem with Tom Little. Why is it a tough game for City, but not a tough game for us? It's tough for us too. I said it's a tough game for both of us. Can you, you not asked me what my thought? No. You asked me what my four tough games were. I said, Everton away. Let's get this once United. and for all. Say that they've the tough games right now. Go on. Everton away, mm -hmm. United away, Villa mm -hmm. away, Fulham away. And in your opinion, your the tough games for City are Arsenal at home. Okay. Um, Tottenham away, Fulham away, and the, what was the other one? I can't remember. Either. Villa, Villa at home. Okay, this is my one. Our tough games are Villa, Everton, United. Spurs, not Fulham. Mm -hmm. City's tough games is Arsenal and Spurs. That's it. The rest, they're all winning. That's that's just how I look at it. West Ham. I can't, I have I, Alex, West Ham they, got, they got packed in by Arsenal 6-0. We can at least beat them. Arsenal fans, you have just two weeks left in the title race. That's exactly why I want Arsenal to beat Man City. That's actually my logic. I really believe Arsenal are going to beat Man... I really want Arsenal to beat Man City. If Arsenal beat Man City, if Arsenal beat Manchester City, Man City are the big blue bastard we have to take down. It's not Arsenal. It's not Arsenal. I don't know why people... Look for, like, yeah, listen, yeah. Arsenal and that Bayern run... I, 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 I just don't... I, I don't like the idea of Arsenal doing a double over City. I think the momentum that gives them is too much. I, I think yes. we can ride that through then. Big up to the Herbsman, but ride it through for the next 15 games? Like, that's the thing. There's, no, a, way, I, I, there's a wave you can ride for three games, maybe two games. I, I, no, but they could get knocked out by Bayern and that momentum would still carry through in the league because then they could just focus on the league sort of thing. If Arsenal do the double over City, an exit from the Champions League becomes more acceptable because they shouldn't Sounds lose a league. Super sticker from the Herbsman. Appreciate you. 10 bucks super sticker. Thank you so much, Habibi, for the love. You guys' love on today's stream has been elite. You know, you've come here for the Hussam cooking Tom Little stream. I know you guys have enjoyed you it. You didn't so. get that, unfortunately, though, people. You didn't get that, yes, unfortunately. You, did, yes, you, you, did. You, got, you, you, got, you got Hussam lying within 20 minutes about me saying that 8 Nori's only going to pass him when we proved That's conclusively on stream I didn't say that. Not a lie. My thought is that is is the damn same with Hussam. What the hell? And then he comes back and says, "If I'm a Liverpool fan, I would reply with the same shit as Hussam. No cap. Sincerely, from a Bayern fan, Hussam is damn right all this while. It, it's tough. It's tough being me, you guys. It's tough being right because I am proactive, not reactive, like this fraud who all he cares about is short termism. One point is good because in match day thirty two. We're on top of City by a point. Yeah, but I'm trying to be top of them match day 38. How do we achieve that? By beating them. Tom, you fraudulent bastard. I really want to fight you. I really want to fight you in an MMA ring, but I think it's unfair. Wait, there, do, do, oh, I, I don't even know why. Arsenal have a tough, some tough games as well, don't they? In their ring. Yeah, that's why I, I want them to beat City. Can you can you actually w wake up? Do, do they have to play Tottenham at home? Or is it away? Yes, Tottenham away. Ooh. Chelsea at home. Ooh. Do they have to play? Yeah, they have to play another one, another top six side, don't they? Doesn't matter. Is it? Doesn't matter. They're no, dropping no, no, no. after they, Bayern. They, 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 they are. They are not dropping points to Chelsea at home. Chelsea is shit. So I yes, they are. Do you want to that. bet they're dropping points to Chelsea? They aren't. They are not dropping points yeah. to Chelsea. Yes, they they're not. Yes, they're not. They 
They're not. They're not. I actually think they're gonna lose to Wolves. By the way, I don't know why we're disrespecting Wolves. Is Wolves at home or Wolves away? Wolves away after Bayern. This is what I'm saying. Wolves away yeah, after it, Bayern. It, yeah, but it's it's a Pedro Neto. Right in the way before Bayern. Villa at right home. No, right, in between right no the Bayern. Ones. Yeah. Okay. You see my logic Maybe now. Then. That's why my logic is yeah, Arsenal. I, I, I can kind of see it now. Yeah. Yes. Finally. See. Finally. I. 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 I, I, I didn't. I didn't see. I, I didn't know Arsenal's fixtures. But now that, you see that, could, that, that, that could be some horrible runs for fixtures. But again, like I said, I will still have the doubt of doing the double over Manchester City and picking up four out of six points against your other title rivals. That momentum it gives you is a Tom, massive I agree boost. With you. My only point is it cannot give you momentum for like 13 games straight. It can give you a bit I, of it momentum. Ca- it can. It can. It, it so can. It so can. I, I don't even understand how powerful momentum can be because it's not just, oh, well, we're just riding off that momentum. We're riding off the momentum of, well, we've just done the double over City and we've won this one, so we stay top. And we've won this one, so we're still top. And and, and it just builds and builds and builds. It's like pushing something down a hill. It just gathers more I've and more and more and more, and more and more and more. Momentum is an actual solid to debate as to why you should, you wouldn't want that to happen. So I agree with you. If the debate was momentum, 100%, I agree with you. But from my side, if I'm looking more from a 4D chess perspective, I'm like, let me cook. Imagine choosing a random guy in Portugal over a legend of our club who hasn't lost the game all season and is about to end the Bayern dominance of 11 mm-hmm. years. Dan mm-hmm. Corrin's head top, Ray Ray. Go on, Tom. No. Your response to Ray Ray, brother. I, I'm, I'm, do you think Chappie Londo is a Liverpool legend? To be honest, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was sitting there thinking, is my like standard for legend too high? Like- yeah, he, he, he was a good player for us. He was a good player and he achieved some good things, but I wouldn't say he was a legend. Cult hero's like, fair, no? Mate, I, I think cult, no, Alonso was better than a cult hero. He had more ability than what cult heroes normally have. He was just a very good player for us. Ja- Jabby Alonso was a football legend who played for Liverpool rather than a Liverpool legend. That's what Alonso what's, was. What's the word between like cult hero and legend? What's the word between? I, I, I don't. I don't think there is one. I, I like to put it like this. L- Luis Suarez, football legend, but he's not a Liverpool legend. He was a football legend who played for Liverpool. Alonso, a football legend who played for Liverpool. That's true. He's not a Liverpool legend. Oh, I hear what you're saying. The, the, they're football legends. And what he's achieved in football they're they're, they're legendary, legendary footballers, yes. but they're not Liverpool legend. For me, the Liverpool legend is a Steven Gerrard. It's a Graeme Souness in the midfield. Yes. Pl- players who were there for years won the top honours. Drag teams that maybe weren't good enough to, to heights they shouldn't have achieved. That's what a legend is for me. Can Not I right Alonso, who was a good midfielder question, question, for, question. for five is years. Is Mane Liverpool legend? Yeah, Mane's a Liverpool legend. But how? Because he achieved a lot of good things at Liverpool and broke a lot of records. I think legend is like... I is he a bigger I... legend than Salah? No. But he's still no, 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 no. That's not even my question. I always, I don't know why I always think legend is like such a big word. Like it is. Sometimes I debate in my mind if even Henderson's a legend. Henderson is because he was the captain. But the like, yeah, isn't. Thing, like legend. If, if you ask me, word. so 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 if I if I go to Liverpool, the Liverpool team from that won the title, that, that won the Champions League and then the title, Allison is going to end as a Liverpool legend. Trent will. Van Dyke will. Mm-hmm. Robertson might do, but it's up in the air there. Fabinho, probably not. I think he was very good, but again, probably just shy of it. Henderson will be. Wijnaldum, probably not. Salah, Mane, and maybe Firmino. There's five dead certs. There's five dead certs and one to two potentials. One day we're gonna have to sit down and think about this because I think legend is just such a big word. I don't know like how how we can I, go from here. Like if I if I go to if I go to the team, so we we know a team that won a Premier League and a Champions League. There's gonna there's gonna be legendary players in there, but the, yes. the teams of like the, the Benitez Liverpool, you've got one legend in there, maybe two if you want to count Carragher because of how many games he played. Yeah, but longevity like, wise. But Torres is not a Liverpool legend. Mascherano not a Liverpool legend. Hippier. Is close to it. Hippie is like a cult hero type of player. John Hi- Anarisa is a cult hero. Yeah, John Anarisa is a cult hero. Pepe Reina, 
I think John Lannery is the best left back Liverpool have had the Premier League era, but I'm not going to say anything. Robertson was better. If John Arnarisa, can I ask you a question as a footballing man for once? Just be honest. If John Arnarisa played in this club system, he would break every assist record down to back guy. Do you know this? You I, know I this. Again, I, 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 I didn't know catch me. I didn't, I didn't get to watch Reese's. Now it's I didn't catch Reese, but when I ask you about 1963 Liverpool players, you managed to open your stinky mouth and have an opinion. I couldn't Bro. tell you about them now. I couldn't tell you about any Bro. 1963 Liverpool players. Guys, John Arne Reese, the... go watch his highlights. He would have cooked under the club. Yeah, but the, 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 the Reese highlights I know were shots. I, I don't know how good Reese's delivery was. So Robertson had a good, good delivery. Delivery shots. He was just a bit suspect defensively. Um, I never understood what was said. But, but, but Rob, Rob, Robertson's always been a good defense. I think Robertson. You, you know, when you look at these teams that we've been so from 2018 to 2022, should we say? Release the Kraken. Um, but then from, 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 saying, from, tw- from 2018 what? to 2022, Robertson was the best defensive fullback in the Premier League. Okay, that's fine. There, there is not much competition anyway. I never understood what Hussam said at first, but then Tom kept saying, "Do you watch football from your asshole?" Tom, it all makes sense now. This is what I'm saying, bro. Sometimes Tom, I feel like he just don't watch it with his eyes. He needs to start watching football with his eyes a bit more. You know, maybe he can have better opinions if he watches it with his eyes. Big up to you, my guy, Frankie. Smoke, W's in the chat right now for my guy. Smoke drops at 35. See, you guys are helping improve Vel's wages. And, uh, you know, instead of being spooby, like a little bee and just crying... If we get Chabi Alonso, best option, and there is no debate, which transfers do you want? Let Tom go I, first. I, I, I want to just ask his summer question real quick and the chat. If Jabby Al- let's say, let's just remove the, the former Liverpool player aspect from Jabby Alonso. Let's just say it was some random fella who you'd never heard of before, but he achieved exactly what Alonso has achieved as a manager. Would you still say he's unanimously the best choice and there's no debate or arguments? Or does the fact that he used to play for Liverpool and people have good memories of him wear on it and go, well, I'd like I'd like to see Jabby in the dugout sort of thing? Yeah, but Tom, what have I said all along? I've said all along, if he beats Bayern. Uh, that's my been my caveat all along. Because I feel no, like... No, I, 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 I think with some people... Dominance, like yeah, but destroying the Bayern dominance with a Leverkusen team that has never won a Bundesliga is a big deal. So that's something that yeah, we yeah. have to... Catch on directly. We cannot let him yeah. go to waste. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I won't try and describe. I, I feel that some people oversell the job that he had to do. It certainly wasn't a Leicester type job because his team was good. It was just out of form. It would be like but Tottenham it, winning the league. Happy now? Yeah, yeah. It'd be it'd be like Tottenham winning. The yeah, league. but we've never seen that our whole life. It's the same with Leverkusen. Yeah, and again, I'm not downplaying that. I'm not. Down, it, Which it's transfer do you want? Depends what got smoke, it, by the way. Why? Where are the W's in the chat for smoke? Can we the spam W's in the chat? My man dropped a 35 right now. W's in the chat for smoke. Uh, uh, are we going to assume? Are we going to assume that he's going to play the same system that he's playing at Leverkusen? So the back three with yeah. two tens. Okay. Um, you definitely need at least two centre backs then. That's it. So like, Inacio and. Who, whoever, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know the I second one would be, but I'd like, I'd like an Inacio. You know, regardless, even with Amorim, uh, we have to get the centre back. Yeah, yeah, hundred uh, percent. So, so an Inacio and someone else, maybe like an Adder or Bio. So, I, I'm just trying to like a cheaper centre back who can be a backup rotation piece. Um, definitely a left back. I, I like the look of Eight Nori. Um, I don't think you need a DM to be honest. You got Bychetic coming back in, Curtis Jones, especially in the two man can do a job there. McAllister, Endo. You'll be all right there. And then Gravenbeach will also end up being chucked in that position. I'd certainly look at a 10. I'd love, with everything in my being, Musiala. Yeah. Could you imagine Musiala? Oh, my I God. I thought you were going to say Florian Wirtz. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind Florian Wirtz, but Musiala's a dream. I think overrated. I think he gives you I, I a no, I wouldn't say he's overrated. I, I, I just love the, I, I just love the. He's the same exact thing as Kai Havertz. What's the difference? He's not. He's just not the same thing as Kai Havertz. Um, but Musiala is just so, so, so good, man. So young and so good. Musiala. Easy the there. The way you're sitting on the mic, they might flag me. Relax. 
<laughs> You're talking about footballer here. Chill. But but e- even then, you have got to consider like Sobosla probably plays one of the tens because that was effectively where he played for Le- Leipzig. Um, Gakpo would probably play as one of the tens. You'd see Jota and Nunes rotate up front. Diaz so when I say Gakpo on. has to play in midfield, you lean back. But if the if the Lord and Savior Amarim or Alonso says it, it's the right thing to do. You if are you, if you think God. if if you think if you think Florian Verts plays in midfield or Jonas Hoffman plays as a midfielder for Alonso, then there's no point in carrying this argument on because they don't. No, you we said say, Gakpo plays in that midfield role. I said he plays Behind as a ten. I said he. Pl- I said he plays as a ten. A ten. And, a and number a ten. ten is in also in midfield. No, it's, so it, no, deep no, 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 no. It's not the same midfield role that you want to put him in. Do you want to put him as like the left centre mid in a, in a Jürgen Klopp four three three? Yeah, and that I think he would work. do that better than he would do a forward role. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He just wouldn't. That's know. a valid opinion. Know. He's a good passer of the ball. He keeps the ball well. He's press resistant. Yeah, but, no, but we've watched him in central midfield this season, and he's a bit. Yeah, shit. and he wasn't even bad when he played there. Low key, he wasn't even bad. Newcastle, I swear, he played in central midfield. He played central midfield. He New- had New- midfield. Newcastle. Newcastle. Which one? He played. He played multiple games in central midfield. I don't even think he was what, that bad. What 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 Newcastle? What Newcastle game did he play as a midfielder? That away one. The New no, he didn't. He was, no, he didn't. He was up front. No, he was not. Yes, he was because the midfield that day was Endo McAllister Sobosly. It was Endo's debut. Oh, that's why when I co- that's when I cooked him. For me, the, which the, transfer the, do I he, want? He he played. He's played uh, off off the top of my head. He's played three games as a centre mid in the Prem. There's there's probably one or two more that I can't remember. He played the first game of the season, where he struggled. Bournemouth, where he was all right, but he he wasn't. He was certainly the worst of the three. And um, Forest, where he was. Again, I've already the worst heard of the three. smoke. The names of three players that we might sign this this summer, but you know the thing is, uh, smoke. I cannot be a liar. I cannot sit up here and do an ITK business because we don't even know who the manager we're gonna get is. And until I know the manager, I can confirm the, some of the transfers. But some stuff you guys would like, some stuff you wouldn't. You know, I've already mentioned one of them before. It's not like there's some form of secret. The Pedro Neto thing, as an example. Bro, the if, problem if, is the if, guy, if, he, if his hamstrings worked, oh my god, I'd be all over him. If his hamstrings worked, okay. If his hamstring, if his hamstring worked, does it work though? No. How many no, injuries? That's, 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 he's done both hamstrings this season. Yeah. He's done his right one for eleven games, and now he's done his left one. That's what I'm saying. I just don't think the guy is good enough like that, bro. I, I I, honestly, if, if you could find a way to just sort them injuries out, I'd be all over Pedro. Yeah, how? I, like, I, shall I, I transplant him my yeah. hamstring as an example? Yeah, or like no, no, that's the thing. If there was some way that we could just manage his, his injuries better, then I'd be all over him because I think as a player, he's one of the most exciting players in the Premier League. I would love, if we would stick with wingers, which who knows, you might do, might not depend on the manager. If we would just stick with wingers, I'd move Diaz on. PSG can have him. And I go get you Pedro see that rumor, by the way. Eighty yeah, yeah. million apparently, bro. Take him. I mean, I, I, I've said eight, eight, eighty million. I'll let him go. But if, if PSG I'm buy Luis, it, myself, it, even though I'm not allowed in France, it, it, if PSG buy um, Diaz, I go spend that money on Pedro Neto and Simon Adingra, and I'm fine. Adingra. I, I I think Simon Adingra is so good. I, I think he's the type of player that. The, the data staff and everyone would love at Liverpool. 22. Um, if we sell Luis Diaz, there's for. no need of getting another type. You know, respectfully, I've had enough of these guys. I you think it, you think Adingra is the same? I, I, I think I think Simon Adingra is very reminiscent of a young Sadio Mane. I had a comment to make, but I don't want to get you in trouble. United is our toughest game, and we should have won that on Sunday. Villa away, we'll win, and we beat Spurs. By the way, Tom and Hussam, you know it's all love. It's all love to you, Ryan, as well. Like you've obviously supported the channel a lot. You know you've always shown us nothing but love, but you, I can still call you out for your fraudulence and still, you know, have love for you. And in terms of the United being our toughest game, look, the biggest rivalry in English football is never going to be a walkover. 
So even when we go over there in the Premier League, I'm sure now Tom has learned his lesson. Even when we go over there in the Premier League, it's not like we're going to slap the crap out of them and beat them 5-0 and stuff like that. No, that's not true. No. Like, we no, have to struggle to win that game. Uh, United away in the league, I think, is our best performance to win the season. I don't think these players are going to let United go three games a season without getting beaten. I think we prob- mm-hmm. I, 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 I think we turn up for that one. I really do. I, and I wonder, I, I do wonder if United can f- perform at the same level with less on the line, should we say. Because it, they, wh- whether they like it or not, they needed something this season, an FA Cup semi-final. And what will be an FA Cup final, because they'll get past Coventry, will be a big thing for their season. In the league, where it's pretty much already said and done, it might be a bit of a different kettle of fish. But, oh, oh, but by, by the way, all these people—I just want to dive into the chat. All these people saying, "Oh no, not a dingress, Rafael Leao." You know, a dingress got more goals this season than Leao. I don't know about Leao anymore or Kvaratelia. I think we Leao, got fooled. But... R- R- Rafa, Rafa Leao has four goals this season. Four. Even Diaz has more. Gakpo has more. Every single one of our forwards has more goals than Rafael Leal. You have less goals than Gakpo. I don't know how much I want you. Um, Silva, not an easy game. Best result, Arsenal, uh, Manchester City for us. Look, Tom actually heard what I was cooking at the end. Low-key, if Arsenal beats City, other than momentum, it makes the most sense for us. So that's that's what I'll say. Um, bigger to you. Nine wins or no league title. Injury, luck needed. 100% fitness and health is a massive part of, of us winning the league. My guy, City. And then he's back. He says, Alonso Suarez is a great player for LFC. Salo Gerard is legends. That's what he's saying. There's a difference. And he's saying left back, C, center back, DM. Uh, one uh, out of two wingers, I think that means, in the summer. Um, Alonso, no, not one out of two. One or two wingers, I think he means. In the summer, Alonso Amrim as manager, not deserve it. Do you see that today, Tom? He um, uses a well, deserve it. Yeah, but I, again, I don't think he's going to go for the derby. I don't know why I have this sinking feeling in my stomach, Tom. I don't know why. If Tom, you know the, we are capable of it as well. You if he goes for the derby, if he goes for the derby, my head's gone. If he goes for the derby, my head's gone. <laughs> Kirby, he so use out. Gone. He use out directly. Get he use out my club direct. <laughs> the derby, uh, you know. I really don't like the derby. I really don't like him. The last manager to leave Brighton and go to a top six club was shit. Why would we now copy it? No. Amarim or Alonso, they're the two. I genuinely can't stand this army. Like, I fully can't stand it, honestly. <laughs> Don't want that signing at all. Hossam from Kenya, would you take Dybala as false nine? I mean, I would have taken Dybala as false nine maybe four years ago. Not anymore. Not I don't think he's necessarily good. No. He's just technically he, good. He, he's good. He, he's good. He's just beyond our age bracket and injury prone. Yeah, he's injury prone as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, even Tom would have said, like, maybe four years ago, yes. You know, like three years ago, yes. Not now. Now I think it's a bit too late. Now it's a bit too late, I'll be honest with you. Ben is back again and says, I agree with Hussam on the Liverpool issue until he bring up Bayern. For the Arsenal game, I prefer to shut up and back my team to win two legs in the Champions League. I appreciate that, Ben. And Ben, one thing about me, you guys know this in the chat, win, lose or draw, I never hide. I never run. I'm always here, you know. Uh, and inshallah, I'll be here after the game as well, Ben. So if you do beat Arsenal, I will apologize to you and to Red Line of Tiranga. And to all... And to all the people who have backed uh, Bayern Munich, I owe you an apology, Ben. Don't worry, I got you. And Terry Makassi for the Super Chat. Bank says, beating Liverpool was the highlight of the season. I need club to have a miserable final season. So, I know it was your highlight, Bank. It's all you have to fight for. It's all you have. That's the same way last season when we played you and we beat you 7-0. It was our highlight because we had nothing to play for. And this is the reality about you. You have nothing to play for this season, and this was your cup final. That's why even the memes scored. You just wanted to win the game so badly. So, guys, 300 likes target. We're literally 20 likes away from 300. Let's get there. ASAP. I want you guys to share the video everywhere. All the super chatters. I'm going to give you guys a shout out at the end. So, Tom, I don't want to keep you for too, too long. Obviously, I mean, we've already been going on for too long anyway. 
because of some of the arguments that we've had. But there's this picture that you've had ready to share on the screen for a while. The Gakpo stuff. Do you want us to have a Gakpo conversation to wrap up or what exactly? I mean, we can have a brief one. We can have a brief yes. one, yeah. Yes. I, I believe he made the right... Don't I, play I it, though. Right. Don't give me copyright no, I'm infringement. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Take my first yes. rodeo. I, I believe he's made the right pass and option there. I believe he's played, he's played the right pass. The issue mm -hmm. is Elliot and Bradley. Bradley should have carried on his run and Elliot shouldn't have slowed down. And it should have been, it should, if, if that goes on, if it, into his path and he's one on one. The issue is Bradley stops. So Mainu doesn't have to keep going there. Elliot then stops when he receives the ball. Mainu gets back and tackles him. It, it, it all falls apart because of them, the, the two kids there. If I, who's on the left? Hey, that's Nunes, mate. Okay, but what did I say from the start, Tom? You can't be disingenuous. I said pass to Nunez from you, you, early. You said you said you you said so. I'm hoping from early. So go back play. earlier. No, go back. I'm... You went front. Go back, back. I didn't go back. Yeah, just make sure. I need to load because it's been sat on this for about twenty years. Okay, refresh, refresh. Try refresh. Try refresh here. Yeah. Refresh it. Refresh it. I've removed it from screen so we don't get copyright infringement. My point is from early, Tom. I said from early. From early past. There we go. Okay, just pop. Can I share screen now? Are you ready with the time frame? Yes. Okay, let's go. Yes, here. Early. Who who is on who is on 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 Nunez's side? Maguire. It's Dallo. Doesn't matter. Pace wise, he beats both of them. Pace wise, I'm saying he beats both of them. Factory speaking, Gakpo here, because you see how when you take it back a second, now the truth is clear because the truth will mm -hmm. set you free. This moment in time, right now, Tom, factually speaking, he could have played in Diaz into a goal scoring position because he's faster than Maguire. Connor that's, Bradley that's, stopped that's, running. That's, that's, that's Lindelof. Let me, let, me, let me explain it. It's, it's Lindelof, though. You, you can't keep throwing my guy's name out there when it's not him. Still pass, though. In yes, terms but of look at the run he's made. Do you want him to pass it there? Diaz, Diaz has to stop running. fully there. Way, there's a pass, way, there's a pass way. in between the lines. In between Dallo and Maguire. In between. In, the, yes, in between, there, there. In between. There. In, in, in between. So there. In you between because there, Diaz is there. sprinting, Tom. He's sprinting. Again, if I go for oh, this fucking twist, it doesn't scrub properly. If I go forwards, back to the old one. When you look, he is can still finish, ahead of can Diaz. You, can I finish explaining? And then you can, you can discuss all you want. Nunez beats them for pace, plays a pass across, we score. This one, the pass is on in between, in between for Luis Diaz because Luis Diaz is sprinting. Conor Bradley stopped running here. So it's his fault, as you said, for stopping to run. But before then, he wasn't stopping the run. He could have played that early pass. To, so to, you to, want to... him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's hope, it, let's hope this starts. There you are. Oh, my God. Stupid <laughs> thing. That? It's horrendous, isn't it? It's honestly horrendous. Yes, go at the start. Thank you. Pause. See here, pause. Thank you. Be a man. Full screen. Full screen. What, what Be you, a man right so now. So you want him You want him to do what at this point? Oh, my Lord. If you are not blaming Gakpo from this point, he kept running and running and running and running. He had three options yes. that are full sprint to his right. You see? You see what I said from the start? Early. I said an early pass to Nunez. Hassam, let's bear in mind, people. Let's bear in mind, people. Hassam wants us to play a 5v2. He wants us to play a 5v2 attack just past the halfway line. That's where he wants the pass to come in. Tom, Tom, this freeze frame is absolutely disgusting. Look how many people are agreeing with what I'm saying. It's disgusting, Tom. But do you know what's it's funny, disgusting. Hassan? Do you know what's funny, Hassan? Play funny? the he, pass. He passes it to the right. He ends up passing it to the right. When factually, everyone oh on this god. side. Oh my god, he passes passing. it to the right. He That's passes what I'm saying, it to Tom, the right. Even United fans are saying it. Stop this Brexit analysis, Tom. 
That's what they're saying. Look, they're saying where does it, look like, look at the situation when he does pass it. That's him running with pass. the ball is the is the problem. Him running oh with the ball is oh the problem god. to begin oh with. God. Oh god. Stop oh kicking god. your oh laptop. Oh my god! You have oh my three god! Options sprinting on your right. Play the pass. So so in some you you believe that he should have played it to who? If I go back, oh, it's going back. That's the problem. In this position, no, he's playing it there. We, we figured out what the problem is. It's when he goes backwards. This though. He's played the right option. He's done. He's played the complete right option. Elliot has all the space. That's Elliot has the space. Diaz. So, what would you have done in this situation? The pass to Diaz is still on in behind both. But Onana is a sweeper keeper. Unless Gapo wakes that pass absolutely to perfection, Onana speaks off his line. Oh my god! The the mark. No, he shouldn't because that's a ridiculously crying? difficult pass. It's Wait, a ridiculously a difficult pass, by the way. It's a ridiculous difficult pass, by the way. That is a that is a chance that let's say he does try and wait it properly and Onana comes off his line and grabs it. Everyone sits there and goes, "Oh, that's horrendous from Gappo!" Wah 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 wah. He's done the you right option. The issue, you know, I actually figured out what we disagree. We disagree because my problem is that Gakpo ran with that ball to begin with. So you believe? I say there. At make point, the pass now. At that point, Stop. Pass. Done. I believe he should have passed at that point. Yes, and you know why you're smiling? Because now you're looking at the amount of space that was on that right hand no, side. No, I'm, the pass no, because was I'm, on. He's made, he's, made the, he's made the correct decision. He's made no, the he correct decision. In making that run, was the wrong decision. Do you pass want him there. to play? Pass you there. want him to play? You want him to play a five v two and play the pass in his yes, own half? Because there's three people sprinting on his right that are considerably faster than him. My so Sam, God. I can tell you never. I, I can tell you never played football. I can tell you've never played it. I played he's done the right football. Thing. I played he's made football. The right and I actually was in his position, and I'm slow, so I gave it to the quick wingers so they can run. He's made, the correct, he's made the correct decision. No, he hasn't. Because no, if I hasn't. go on, do you want, do you want me to say what I think is going through his head here? He wants to play it to Everything? Diaz. Nothing. No, he wants Nothing. to. He wants to play it to Diaz. And he's waiting, and he's waiting, and he's waiting, and he and he goes to play it there, and then Diaz just runs too close to Lindelof, so he has to then push it to Elias, and then Elias is there, he's there, and then does this, takes a backwards touch. Elias in this situation with Diaz actually blocking Lindelof off, takes a backwards touch. That's what kills the attack. Not the pass. Oh, it's, I went backwards, so it's died again. It's not the pass through. It's not the pass through. You're going all the way. It's to Elliot's touch. And telling me step three is wrong. I'm not disagreeing with you. Stop leaning back and crying. I, I understand Elliot took a bad touch, but that's not the f***ing point. Allahumma nisayim. That's not the point, Tom. The point is... If you're running with the ball and there's people who are considerably quicker than you, play the pass to them. Diaz was at full sprint. Nunez was at full sprint. We know Nunez and Diaz and he, could be. And he is all trying. Of them for pace, all of them for pace. And Gakpo is slower than a snail. Right. I can pass tell you exactly. earlier. I, full stop, I, can full stop. I can tell you. I can tell you exactly what would have happened if I refresh this for the last time and I remember not to go backwards. I will tell you exactly what would have happened in this situation. Pause. So, if he pass. if he passes it, if he passes it to Nunes, Bradley, Nunes Bradley and Diaz are both quicker. Both pass okay, from here. That, that, Why are you that, waiting? That, that, that's crazy. That, that, that's crazy. No, no forward should pass in that situation. The attack is not developed yet. No, he should wait. He should. He should. He should. No, 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 he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't, because then you make it too clear. In this situation, Lindelof has to cover three three people at this point. Now That's a tough job to do. Football, because this is actually a good counter-attack. You pass to the right, it you is. pass to the it right, is. and then you continue your run towards the penalty box. The right back has it. He crosses it either to you or Nunez and score. Yeah, and then... Uh, what are you on about? What are you on about? What are you on about, man? What are you pass on to about? the right defender. He has to come. Right, Sam, Sam, I will tell you. I, I will. I will tell you exactly what I would do with Victor Lindelof. So you're saying he should pass it to Bradley, not Diaz, because Diaz is just making the same run, just slightly more to the right. He should pass it to Bradley. Get it out wide to the right so he can cross it in. 
you know, do you know what I do? You know what I do as the centre back? I Who let Bradley cross it in. I let Bradley cross it in because I did two on two. Then I'm defending Gakpo. Don't be two on two. It's a three on two. Because no, Gakpo because if you're is no, back oh my god, oh my god, am I going mental? Am I going mental? Am I going mental? Okay, go you back. Said, you, you said you Bradley, said you right? want you said you want to give it to Bradley to cross it. Okay, in. let's give it to Bradley. Bradley runs. I, I I would just invite the Bradley cross. I would make Connor Bradley Perfect. the Hold right back the do Bradley it all. Crosses. Gakpo and Nunes and maybe Diaz. And, and Diaz. Okay, that's, that's three. It. Three on two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's a better? Who's which is a better goal scoring opportunity? There you are. The one that we should have had, because if again, if I go forwards... Oh, you're going to go to the... But why don't we have go to the pass? Cause? I'm going to go to the pass. I'm going to go to the pass. Um, we know what Nunes would have done in this situation. Nunes would have done what he does. He receives the ball, and then he stops the size of Dallo, tries to take him on, and then hits a shot from outside the box. That's what Nunes does. That's what Nunes does. Now, could it went in? Potentially. Does it go in? Probably not. So we carry on. Diaz is probably who he's going to pass to, and then Diaz's no, run is too close. To, Diaz's run is too close to Lindelof. So unless he plays a inch perfect ball through into the perfect feet of Diaz, who takes it first time he's to stop the outrushing Onana. Yeah, but then Diaz has to take it first time one on one against Onana. Diaz is finishing his shit as we've established. There's a good chance that doesn't go. Yeah, in. so he gives it to Elliot, who has. So then he great... gives it. So then he gives it to Elliot. Who is should carry on his run. Bradley stopped his run at this point. If Bradley carries on his run, Elliot doesn't need to take a touch. Elliot can knock it further forward. Bradley can cut it back. Bradley stops his run, which means Elliot is left alone. Elliot at that point should, when it comes through to him, take a touch. Don't touch it on your left. Touch it on your right. Open yourself up. And then he will have Gakpo running in. Nunes unmarked at the back post. Diaz is actually there. If, if you want to say someone should have passed it, Elliot, Elliot, Elliot should have passed it to Diaz because Diaz at that point is unmarked. Lindelof is the wrong side He's of Diaz. analyzing something that didn't even work. This is the thing if, that just pisses me off. If, if fucking Diaz gets that ball there, Lindelof is the wrong side. Lindelof has to file him to get that ball. You get a penalty. That is a better situation for Diaz to be in than the one that we're saying Gakpo should have played an inch perfect kill and through Gakpo to... played a pass to Conor Bradley from 30 seconds before, and it becomes a four on two versus situation in the center. It's it's a goal. No one is here saying that Elliot didn't take a bad touch. We agree Elliot took a bad touch, but that's not the point, Tom. That's not the overarching point here. The overarching point is he's slow than the others that were running alongside him. Give them the ball to run. I've been in his position before. You're running with the ball down the middle. You you have two wingers down it's the left and the right who are fast. Pass them the ball, and then you make the run towards the penalty box, and then you score when they cross it into you. That's it. So you want us from this point forward to play any attack where we've got a four on two straight out wide to the fullback. You know when Salah was through one. You know when Sa we had the five v two against Arsenal. You're comparing Mo Salah to Cody Gakpo, Tom. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're missing the point. When we had that Mo Salah was in a marathon by the time Gakpo was still halfway. When we had the 5v2 against Arsenal, do you think that Salah made the correct decision? Yes. That's because the run was continued forward, because he let the play develop. If he plays that pass to Bradley out there... The and that's because Salah's not a snail. And that's because Salah's not a snail. Do you think Gap so, so you think Gakpo's slow there? Yes. I'm so glad he's lost his mind. So glad. Anyway, let me just read the super chats before we wrap up because this guy is just like talked to a wall. Evening, gentlemen. Uh, missed the Liverpool game. I was on an air to, I was in air to India, not knowing the score, an eight hour flight from London. Landing in India, uh, found a loss. Big up to you, my guy, uh, uh, Dinesh. I remember your name as well. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hope you had a safe flight. Shout out to you and your family, my brother. I appreciate you. Big up to you, uh, Dinesh. Big up to Buck, who says, I've noticed for a while, for whatever reason, Gakpo doesn't pass to Nunez. Oh, uh, well, I'm not going to start this. Buck, listen, I'm anti-Gakpo. And, and you know what it is? You know one good thing I'm happy about being off spaces? Tom does not have that privilege. It's the fact that I stopped comparing shit to shit. I stopped comparing shit to shit. You know what I refuse to do? I refuse to sit up here and go like, oh my God, 
Diaz is worse than Gakpo. Oh no, Gakpo is actually worse than Diaz. Oh my God, they're both crap and not Liverpool standard. How about that? How about that? How about just say it as it is? How about say both players suck and they're not Liverpool standard? It's not difficult. Why do we have to sit up here and compare trash to more trash? I'm, Why is my video already not allowed monetization? What have we even said? That's that's disrespectful. You know, I haven't even cussed that Tom. Just get so, players who are better. Mane, Salah, Suarez, yeah, but, Torres, yeah, but they, Fowler, yeah, but they, Firmino. They, they, you're sitting there rattling off genuine world-class forwards. There's arguably some of them generational talents. They, You don't just go, oh, every three years there's a new Mo Salah. Every three years there's a new Luis Suarez. There isn't. There isn't. That isn't a that, possibility. That's and also this thing... Would you agree? Yeah. Every three years there's a Jota. That's no. Fair? No. Okay. There you are. So you want to act like Jota is now a generational talent that can't be found in the world of football? No, I'm not I'm not saying he's a generational talent, but what other so it's been four years since Jota signed for us. What other forward does see, what he when does? I, see like Jota, I just simply mean a goal scoring winger. I'm not even saying anything that deep, to be honest with you. No, but but you're saying that like we let's like say a winger who can get you fifteen goals a year. That's it. That's not a crazy. Who can get you 15 goals a year. So if I look at the top scorers in Europe now, how many of them do you reckon are winners? Yeah, and, and, and Gakpo and include their Europa League goals to try and make a point. No, no, no. I, 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 that is not anywhere near what I'm doing. If you hear no. me, then you'll understand. I'm going to the European goal and boot the top scorers okay, in and, all and, of Europe and, this and season. Them, Buck, I will say, and I'll speak for Tom, I'm not about to start this whole thing of Gakpo doesn't pass to Nunez and Diaz doesn't pass to Salah and Trent doesn't pass to this guy. We've already had enough of that with Salah and Mane, where troops tried to force an agenda, where like Mane hates Salah and Salah hates Mane. That's not true. And let's not do this again. You get me. So, yeah. So, what, you, so you want wingers to get 15 goals a season. So by this point, you'd want them to have 10. By this point, you'd, you'd want them to have 10 yeah, goals. Yeah, by this point of the season, yeah, minimum 10, 11. That's fair. Right. So out of all the players in Europe with 10 goals at this point, that aren't playing in the fucking Scottish League or the Austrian League or whatever. You've got you the wingers. Yes, I am because it's shit. That play on the wing in a in a right, good okay. league. On the wing in a good league. No one on no one on that page. On this one, Kavarat Scalia. That's one. Okay, he's a very good winger. Obviously, um, we're still just on one. Because everyone else there is a striker mainly. Um, Wang we from Wolves. We're, we're, we're still just uh, Huang plays up front really. Oh, and I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think he's Foden. Cunha Phil plays Foden. up front. Phil Foden it was. If Huang was there and I've missed him, then you can count him. Yeah, Huang was there. So, so we'll go three. Even though you you rate Huang twenty eight year old Huang, and I wouldn't have him anywhere near Liverpool. But yes, yeah, we'll include Huang on for this. So Huang, have. Huang makes three. Huang makes three. Because we're counting um, Foden as well. Tom, Tom, you know my iftar is in 20 minutes. Can I go cook? I'm Please. nearly done, mate. I'm nearly done, mate. Um, no Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer makes four. But that, that includes mm. pens, but I didn't specify that beforehand. Vinicius makes five. Um, who else? Anyone else at this point? I'm seeing Lacazette. I'm seeing Soloff. It, Saka makes six. So we're on six. All great um, wingers you mentioned. Mm -hmm. We're on six. Salah makes seven. And that's it. Unless you count Mbappe as a winger. Eight. So Mbappe counts winger. That's eight. Out of that list, Kavarat Scalia, Saka, Vinicius, Wang, Cole Palmer, Saleh, Saka, and Mbappe. That was the list. One of them we already have. One of them we have. Mbappe's never joining. Vinicius is never joining. Saka's never joining. Huang is shit. Oh, I'd never want Huang to be a Liverpool signing. So who have we got next? Left. Kavarat Scalia. And I who? promise you, had we signed Huang in January, we'd be cooking right now. But Shut anyway, hey. Ho. Yeah, what we should have signed Huang in Don't January. Even though he's at... but, we, we, Actually, I haven't let, eaten let, for let, Let's bear in mind, people. 
Let, let's bear in mind, people. He wants us to sign Huang. He just in said the whole. You're, you're, you're ahead. He just said the whole that. I did. I'm not letting you eat. Tom, he I have wants to go us eat. to sign Huang. Yes. And we're nearly done, mate, but I need to address your Huang claims. He wants to sign Huang in January, even though he was, get this, at the Asian Cup. No, at the with Asian South Cup. South Korea. So we couldn't sign him in January. We, we, we couldn't sign him in January because he wasn't here. Jordan but Cook. let's say we just signed him in January. Do you want to know when his last goal... Do you, do you want to know when his last goal in the Premier League was, mate? What? 2023, 2023, Brentford. He has not scored a goal in 2024. Yeah, I'm just giving us an example. He has not scored a goal in 2024. We should have bought, we should, let's bear in mind, people, bear in mind, people, as Sam said, if we bought Huang, we'd be cooking. A man who hasn't scored a goal and is currently injured, we would have been cooking. I'm done. 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 You Jürgen think Klopp has found, made end of a footballer. He can make Wang a footballer. You think Gagpo is just the Dutch Klang Havertz? Have I'm, very, I'm done, man. I'm done. I think I'm you're done. being very I'm disrespectful done. to Havertz. I think let's Havertz has been a lot let's better than Cody Gagpo this season. Uh, let's not uh, disrespect Kai Havertz. But I appreciate you, Sharif. Um, big up, Tom. Great stream. And Hussam, too, I guess. There you are, Spooby. There you are, Spooby, you fraud. You know, I used to call him Scottish until I actually heard his accent. And then, you know, shout out to the woman, you know. Big she up, told Spooby. Me, like, Big up, Spooby. Yeah, I actually realized it's actually Northern Ireland, not, not uh, you know, not uh, Scottish. Big up to you, Spooby. Thank you for sending a super chat. See, you keep asking for Vel to get a pair eyes, you know, it's the super chat and maybe he gets a pair eyes. That's how you can get Vel a pair eyes. He has already increased his pay and he only gets paid five pounds less than Skullfuggery. So hold that. And that's with CapCut. Uh, if LFC don't spend big, then standard will be low, says Ben. Hey, uh, standards, you know. Standards has to be high with a manager, with the direction, and with everything we're doing. Not just wait, 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 wait till Hassan finds out that Huang has less goals than all of our attackers this season. Uncomfortable conversations, yeah, but... man. Anyway, on that, on that note, we're going to wrap it up here. Make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing to This Is Football if you're yet to do so. Every single one of you guys, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to This Is Football. I actually haven't smoked. I need to go smoke. Uh, big up to Sapi Sap, Ryan, Felipe, uh, Smoke, Ws. Big up to Paran. Big up to Ed. Big up to Nags, uh, Ben, uh, Va. Big up to The Herbsman, Hussam's Diehard Fan, Red Cat of Teranga, Aya, Jack, Vin, uh, Ray Ray, of course, the king, DJ Brains, uh, B um, Battle Red. Why can't I read my own uh, writing? Sharif, Sidi, Total uh, Eclipse, I think, not Total Eclipse, Total. There's a guy called Total. Bunk, Dinesh, Buck, Spooby, and there's a guy who his name starts with F. I can't even read my own handwriting. Big up to you. Make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing to this is football if you're yet to do so. Talal as well. Big up to you, Habibi. Thank you uh, so much. Um, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing. Tom's channel is in the title. The people in the chat are asking when's the Amarim video. Hey. Tom? Well, when, I, when I can find a desire to redo all the work I've done, it'll be there. there when, you you've lost, when, you, when you've lost eight minutes of fully edited content, it's a bit of a blow. Fairs. Fairs. Guys, we're only 14 likes away from, an, from our initial uh, target of 300 likes so let's get there on your way out slap the like button um and we're gonna be back me personally i'm doing a stream later on at 11 30 p.m uk time inshallah today we're gonna be discussing southgate pochettino all of that good stuff love you i'm gonna leave you see you guys back later tonight tom little's channel is in the, in the title subscribe